the freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> Is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch's mouth. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he has some shit. <laughs> 51, motherfucking 50, lives again through these trifling ass times. The don't breathe on a nigga hustle has started across the world. I'm out of here jogging and shit. There's people with dogs crossing the street. I'm like, shit, I don't want you breathing on me. I don't want to breathe on you, motherfucker. I be wearing my mask when I'm in certain places, but in here, for some reason, I be thinking I ain't gonna get it. If I got it though, you know who gave it to me? Phil. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Diego. Uh, <laughs> wasn't me. Great. Then we know who gave it to us though. Jesus, man. I'm good though, motherfucker. Here I we go. There I'm, they I'm, go. I'm, See? I'm immune to a lot of shit. Oh my god. Look at god. me. We are. You not immune to chubby. You're not immune to chubby. <laughs> oh, damn. Don't let her. Don't. Come on. I, I got it. I don't me. worry. You know I owe him. Back to it, she gonna get mad. I ain't gonna get mad. He, I owe him. He's he, on. He's back. He's mad. backlog. He's backlog. He, I've been I owe watching. him. You've yeah. Been, you've been getting mad. What? He gonna get mad if I say something about him. <laughs> I wish he would. I got so If much. I say anything, I, I talked about everybody in here one day. Who was mad when they left D? <laughs> man, you wish. That's your joy for some reason. Man, but you wish I had. I ain't even said that. There you go. Oh, yes, I did. I just said I, she was the only one that got mad. No, just because oh, so I see what's it. wrong with you, Daddy. Nobody's mad. I can't say anything back to you. And that's yes, me, man. Yes, you can. I don't care what you say about me, D. But you're saying that I'm mad just because Do I'm responding back. Come on, Cleaner. Come it makes on. You, it gives you joy. I love to have Come you. Come on, Cleaner. Since you're king of the miserable people. This is what makes the show so entertaining when y'all to go back and well, forth. She, <laughs> she, be, so she come in the door with the pain. Are you in pain, oh, D? Oh, I thought your boyfriend was in here. Oh. She about to fight. Okay, she go get a fight. <laughs> no, no, no. Man, because I'm breathing good and shit. Oh. <laughs> uh, damn it, you around them boys. Yeah, you're breathing so good. Uh, I'm around boys? I don't know. You about. around boys? I don't think. What, Nicholas? No, I'm talking My about, I ain't talking about the, 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 the people at the house. I'm oh. talking about when you go in that truck. I'm by myself. What are you talking about? They let they trust you with a truck by yourself? I don't drive the truck. You drive your own car, silly bone. You drive your own car? Yes, it's called Amazon Flex. Oh, my God. Ain't that a motherfucker? They you just thought I was actually driving cars. your van? No, it's called Amazon <laughs> Flex, silly. Oh, my God. You thought I had one of those big old vans? Yeah. I wish. So no. you bootleg Amazon? It's called Amazon Flex because they don't have enough Whatever they call it to make you feel better about it. Okay. You bootleg Amazon. Okay, whatever. But it ain't bootleg <laughs> paycheck. But no, yeah. <laughs> They say getting that money. <laughs> a lot of people fucked up out here, man. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about businesses are closed permanently. They ain't gonna recover from that mm -hmm. shit. They like fuck it. I'll start over later in life. I'm talking about shit shut the fuck down. For all really? these, I'm talking about all these people who can't afford their house notes now. I will be moving in that bitch. <laughs> Holla at me, goddammit. Let's work something out. God damn it. Don't just let the bank take the house. How far behind are you? <laughs> Let's make a deal. I want you on my label right now. I'm just a little old boy with a little show in the middle of nowhere, but I do work hard for myself. I got twelve hundred dollars for your house. Right. <laughs> twelve hundred? Why you gonna let them take it? They gonna take it and they gonna give you shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Would you rather them have it or me? Right. <laughs> yeah. Some people say I'm still working. It is a lot of people working. They're yeah. essential workers, uh -huh. but they got that fucked up. It's essential people that they are essential and they shut it down. Do you know Planned Parenthood is closed? 
You can't even get a cortisone shot. I was trying to get a cortisone shot for my elbow, and you can't. There's, there's certain things that are like, no, nah, that's not of, imp of importance. First yeah, off, cortisone. You said, yeah. That ain't as important as Planned Parenthood. Oh, no, stop. Some people ain't got to the end of May to get rid of that little motherfucker. It'll be too much. It's too, yeah. it's too expensive to kill you them bet. motherfuckers once they get a certain age. Planned Parenthood is close. Once them motherfuckers make it to four months, that's a murder. <laughs> You can't go to Planned Parenthood. You got to go to the roller coaster. <laughs> you got to take it to Magic Mountain. Right, goddammit. it. <laughs> all these potholes out here because all Get on babies. Batman 46 times. Yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> other ways to get rid of them babies. Be on the freeway doing 130. I'm arguing with this truck driver. He like, why are you driving like a maniac? I'm like, why are you getting out the way? Don't you see I'm trying to do something with this bitch? <laughs> oh, I ain't take her airbag out for nothing, motherfucker. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> These are just jokes. I would, I, hey. <laughs> anyway. You. So what the fuck, man? Where you been, G? Shit, yeah. nigga, laying low. I lay in low, my nigga. <laughs> you still doing your shit? Huh? Yeah. What about mansions? I'm still doing it. What, what, what is that? I'm doing it down in Englewood. Oh, oh wait a minute. Over there at the... Um, yeah. At that one place filled with dude acting like he ain't know who the fuck he was. <laughs> I'm starting this shit. This is Mr. Throw up. Niggas Under the Bus. Oh, uh, yeah. That no, nigga no, down there. I'm talking about that whole ass nigga who was starting all that shit. Who is he talking about? A whole ass nigga. Motherfucker act like he didn't know who he was. <laughs> didn't know who he was. Oh my god. A nigga act like he didn't know who he was. Oh, he was out of place. He was out of pocket. This nigga, uh, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. The little motherfucker from, um, I forgot the name of the shit that we was at war with for a little while. Foxhole? No. Oh. Uh, who is the motherfuckers? I'll be, I'll be forgetting about that shit. Comedy, Comedy hype. hype. Really, there's a nigga down there from there? That I nigga was down there at the studio one day. I didn't know that. And Phil, you know, Phil neutral. Phil ain't got nothing to do with it. Phil walked up to the nigga. That nigga act like he wasn't who he was. So Phil is Switzerland. The nigga walked up to you, Phil? <laughs> no, the nigga ain't walk up on Phil. He walked up to Phil? Phil too big, man. <laughs> Niggas don't walk up on what Phil. What happened? Nigga, Phil, a nigga walk no, up on you, he got that thing. What happened? Phil got them long ass arms too. Phil, you know, don't ever, don't ever fight no motherfucker with long arms on no motherfucking boxing shit. No. Nah. You got to wrestle them motherfuckers. Yeah. We right. I'm going for the ground game on all the big motherfuckers, dog. My homeboy Warren, I seen him motherfucker. This nigga, I w I wanted to tell the nigga. I'm with my homeboy Warren. I wanted to tell the nigga who Warren was fighting. Rush the nigga. Damn. How many of them licks you gonna take, nigga? Warren was like, ah, <laughs> ah, yeah, no, that motherfucker 6'8". You cannot box him. Them long motherfuckers, dog, you don't be thinking you close enough. Them motherfuckers clap, you be like, ah, oh, Anyway. But yeah, you know that, that studio is walking distance from my house. Nice, yeah, so that's you know, super I know. Dope. I slide right studio, over there. I, 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 been, I know where you live, I know yeah. where the studio at, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah, man, shit, I've been laying low like a motherfucker, boy. Who been on the show? Shit, damn near nobody. But I brought uh, <laughs> Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil Valentine. You remember the... the oh, no. You, Hold on. I think I know who you talk about. Yeah, you show. came on the show with us. He wear, he wear weird hats and shit. I'm finna, you know? I'm finna get up and run out of here. <laughs> Do we? I don't know. I don't remember. So you had a lot of guests, brother. You... You be getting them, and them. You be getting some motherfucking interesting guests. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and that brother gonna get together this Thursday, man. We gonna do this shit again. I bought one of them oxygen machines that he had, but I got a, a, a medical grade one. Oh, really? Those um, them uh, hydroxy machines. Or really? I don't wanna get sick, man. I ain't mad at you. You said you're immune to everything. But I still can fight it, D. If you don't mind, mm -hmm. is that all right? You want you don't you don't mind if I fight it, do you? If I last with you this long, I'm immune to damn near any motherfucking thing. Oh, brother. It's an old couple right here. <laughs> so is, goddamn. Look you at You talk, look at him. <laughs> old bitch. No, no, I am trying to like, get Sarah these photos, goodness sake. Yeah, all right, D. 
And at the same time I'm trying to do that, as I'm breathing, you don't have this problem, thank goodness, because you don't wear glasses. Why you got a black mask on your face? It's, 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 it's Day of the Dead, but the, I think the face part scares people. See, it's, oh. it scares people. Is that so I, a just fact? Wear, I wear the uh, bottom half of the oh. neck, which is black, because oh. this face scares people. The glasses make them not scared. No, but I was saying that I can't see. It's taking double time because when I'm looking and reading, it gets fogged But the mask up. ain't got nothing to do with it. Yes, it does because of the breathing. You can't see anyway. Like I can't. You know what? Look at them, gla them glasses. I can't wait. Them for the, the first thing we're going to do, guys, is take a road trip to get an eyes check. And I'm just so curious as to what they're going to say about your eyes. I'm just telling my you. Eyes, my eyes work good after I wake up for about two minutes. It takes me about two minutes. Well, that's not a good <laughs> sign, Glaucoma. Is that what it is? Yeah. When you get when it take two minutes, like when I first wake up and I look at my phone, I'll be like, "What bitch is this?" I see, and I see the haze. You don't see the gray haze in his eyes. It's starting. Okay. You no, see I'm, what? Okay, I'm scared, D. You should be because I've been trying. D to tell says him for she years. sees a gray haze in this nigga's <laughs> eyes. No, um, oh, stop, Marcus. Lace won't help that. Lace He said this nigga got glaucoma. That's, That's fucked up. You can't let that happen, yeah. Corey. You it's need LASIK. LASIK. Marcus is over there. That motherfucker, you've been squinting since I met your ass. See, and I had LASIK done, but that was 20 something years. She had the ago. old LASIK. When they had the it fat does, laser. Do. Right, when they Look had it up, the, they do. They cut out uh, bread bags and <laughs> melted on your eyeballs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That old new iced tea money. Uh, oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Georgia. Just to make Came with a ponytail. It wasn't new. This Georgia. Was years later, we've been at it a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't new. <laughs> Hater. <laughs> anyway. Oh, <shit. laughs> what? I can't see. Sir. So, <laughs> I, can't, I can't see. <laughs> so, so, look, let, let me just bring this shit up for, for, so I won't forget it. Because y'all motherfuckers be letting motherfuckers... Uh, Getting y'all upset on the internet about things you see. And I just want to explain this to y'all. The Surgeon General is a, um, is, is a coon looking ass nigga who was up on the podium singling out people of color to stop alcohol and drugs in the COVID-19 fight. Mm hmm now this is a this is a this is a uh, a black person who was doing this. Mm -hmm. I want to remind everybody that the government, TV stations, everybody hire niggas willing to shit on niggas so they don't have to say it. They thought of this shit. And they was like, we can get niggas to talk about niggas. So we don't have to worry about them saying, oh, the station is racist or whatever. Mm. They got a black person doing it. That's how you Stephen A. Smith, yeah. Jason Whitlock, these, uh, 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 Don Lemon. The only white person Don Lemon don't like is Trump. And that's because I don't think Trump fuck boys. All the rest of the presidents fuck boys. So <laughs> he like... I don't like this one. This one, I don't have a chance with him. That's what I think Don Lemon. Mm. Real problem is with the hillbilly in office right now. The hillbilly in office don't fuck boy. Mm. And we all know Don Lemon like white boys. He got one at home that he proud of. Mm. 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 I be putting these motherfuckers on blast. It's my job to put them on blast. Ain't nobody else going to do it. Ain't nobody else going to say... The highest paid running back in NFL history is a white boy. Anybody else going to say that? I have not heard it all day. But this is the facts. The highest paid running back in NFL history is a Caucasian Who is man. That? Who is it? The running back from the Panthers. McCaffrey? Yes. He just got a contract that make all these good running ass niggas feel like they stupid than a motherfucker. And everybody talk about, Damn. oh, he's a good running back. He is. He is a good running back. He came out of Stanford. Was but balling. when you white and can play, you are going to be higher paid Ooh. than the niggas who play. The same position. It don't matter if they more productive or not. You got a white superstar. Coming out this, coming out this year, they would rather take a chance on the proven quarterback, the boy from Alabama, the Hawaiian boy. Tua. Tua. Everybody know this is probably the top quarterback coming out. 
motherfucker throw the ball down the field type motherfucker. They scared of that hip, though. Yeah, but they got a white boy who was hurt all his first beginning of his career at Ohio State where niggas beat him out for the position. Mm. So then they let him go to LSU when he was healthy. He had a good year. Now he the best thing everybody ever seen in this motherfucking world. You talking about Burrow? Burrow. Yeah. And I'm not saying he can't play. I'm not saying Jason McCaffrey can't run. But what I'm saying is when you are Caucasian and you are productive in a sport, you they gonna, gonna be called you. the greatest ever. Yeah, they're gonna cash you out. You're gonna get the biggest checks. Yeah. And niggas, nigga announcers on all these sports channels, it's niggas sitting at home bucking. Mm hmm You can't even sit at the desk no more. You sitting at home talking about, yeah, he deserve it. He good. That boy run hard. <laughs> yeah, but why is he the highest paid ever? <laughs> ever. Who won the first Grammy for rap? Who won the first Grammy for rap? Was it Will Smith? Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice. Won the first Grammy for rap. God Look damn it. the fuck up. The first <laughs> rap Shit. Grammy went to McCaffrey. Damn Ala it. Motherfucking Vanilla Ice. Look it up. I ain't stupid. I watch this shit. Niggas been rapping for years. But when they gave a Grammy for a Grammy for rap, goddammit, it was vanilla motherfucking ice. Ice, ice, baby. The, the shit worst. he saw Spike Lee do in that movie. Wow. Yeah, it was very commercial though, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I watched the game of life. I know how the game of life go. I was talking about the shit. For motherfucker, the show started. The killers in the street don't look like the killers from back in the day. Back in the day, killers was some treacherous looking motherfuckers. Now, in the street, killers got on pink shoes, blonde <laughs> hair, off Hennessy and Xanax. Or colored hair, some kind of right. color. Right. Motherfuckers will murk your ass. This is a new world, nigga. With a skirt you, on. Right. Mm -hmm. Nigga, cut you. <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> this world cold in a motherfucker, dog. Anyway. Nah, but we talked about that Surgeon General thing. Condemning black, fee black people for doing things that every American does, which is smoke, eat meat, you know, l live an unhealthy lifestyle. It's not like black people have a monopoly on that. But what you want to point out is... When you look at black people in America, they're the only people in America that were conditioned to have a an healthy, unhealthy lifestyle. When you were in slavery, they, they fed you the, the, the trash, the scraps. And through conditioning, you turned the scraps into a delicacy. So you look at, and I, I, me and Jeff Brown talked about this yesterday. You look at the two greatest food cities in America. That's New Orleans mm -hmm. and Chicago. Mm -hmm. But those two cities are steeped in tradition. A lot of people from Chicago got roots in Alabama and Mississippi. Those people went, went north. So there's a tradition of making the worst food into a comfort food. But that was born out of slavery. So if you want black people to change their health, you got to teach them differently. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad did it. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan did it with how to eat to live. But at the end of the day, to blame black people for their COVID numbers based on their conditioning is unfair. Mm. Well, that's why they got that sucker ass nigga in there doing it. I travel the country. And let me tell you something. If I didn't travel the country, I wouldn't know. Homie, when you go to the state of Virginia, you want to see some reckless motherfucking hillbillies who motherfucking... I'm talking about, homie, I used to walk from <laughs> point A to point B to get from the hotel to the comedy club. I remember one Friday night, I saw so many accidents... And these is drunk Caucasian people, not trying to say I'm 
mad at Caucasian people or nothing, but I'm just saying, this is what I saw. I'm like, because that's, that's what's around there. Short pump. Mm. All the people who know what I'm talking about. Right. Drunk Caucasian people crashing in the shit because they fucked up off everything. Right. So the Surgeon General didn't talk about, and I know this is just one town, Richmond, Virginia. Mm. This is just one town I'm talking about. So you think this shit ain't everywhere? I think they outnumber us, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Man, that Surgeon General need to get the shit slapped out of him just for saying that. All the motherfucking niggas they put on TV for doing that shit need to be in danger when they come back around black people. And what about all the white people that eat soul food? That cook soul food. What about the, the motherfuckers Deans. who eat raw meat? Yeah. <laughs> that was delivered to them by the government, so you know it ain't even right. It's mm. raw meat with <laughs> raw chemicals in it. <laughs> raw what the fuck chemicals. are you talking about? <laughs> raw chemicals. Right. Motherfucker. Anyway, I just had to call out that whole ass motherfucker, the Surgeon General motherfucker. We know why you got that job, motherfucker. We know why the mayor of Chicago got that job. You seen this bitch? Oh my mm. God, how embarrassing. I am, what are you? I seen her. <laughs> what? I can't. This bitch been through hell and back. When they auditioned her for the job, they was like, she perfect She's, to represent the We nigga. got her. And she gave him something. She, this, bitch, she, this bitch ain't got a happy look. I broke you. Right. <laughs> this bitch looked like a liquor store nigga. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen <laughs> this bitch? Have you got a picture of her? This bitch looked like... But you saw the story that happened recently, right? They had... I, I saw on the internet, they had the bitch look like Grady off Sanford and stuff. No, but did you see what happened? What she did? What happened? What the bitch do now? Okay, so apparently she was on making these pleas, talking about, hey, you guys in Chicago, you got to stay in. All these things that you want to get done to yourself, especially things like aesthetics things, you know, like hair, nails, stuff like that. That's not of importance. You should not get that done. Don't, don't do that then they catch her getting her roots done. So then they asked her, yeah, it's a big story. It just came out. And then they asked her, wait, like, I'm a public figure. Wait, thank you. And then she said that she came back at him when they caught her and they, 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 they she was at a shop. I don't remember how it happened, but they got, they busted her. And she said, what she said, but, I, but I'm a, like he said, I'm a public speaker and I have to make, present myself, be presentable. She can't present herself no worse than she present herself. The bitch had on a suit that wasn't tailored, and it was a man's suit. Oh. I knew the bitch ate pussy as soon as I... I didn't know that was a woman at first. Her name is Littlefoot. You know what? I cannot. I can't. That's I didn't know it was a woman at first. Then I heard it speak. I was like, oh, that's, speak. that's a woman? Yeah. Oh, you said it. Yeah. You, called the girl, you called the lady it. Man, that's a it. God dang it. But they how? got all these embarrassing looking female figures. Bitches who don't look upright. Oh, Bitches yeah. look like they eat ass from the back like a nigga. Do you have pictures? Can somebody get a picture of her? It's, this is an ugly bitch. It's Lori Lightfoot. Let me tell you something about ugly people. I don't give a fuck who get mad. See, I heard P. Diddy got in trouble for fat there shaming. She is. And that's a good picture of the bitch. She's smiling. Lightfoot. Lori Lightfoot. Man, that bitch look like Satchel Paige. <laughs> kind of turtle. That bitch look like the White Gooden in the playoff game. Turtle, turtle. Oh, she ended up turtle. getting her hair cut, but that, but turtle. the PSA that she would. That, that must be was, before she got her hair done, because that's the hairdo <laughs> I'm used to seeing the no, bitch with. And she said that the, there there is no good reason for anyone in Chicago to leave their house. And yeah, she a and she goes and gets ass. that done. Bitch, <gasps> bitch, you gonna leave the house? You got to suck pussy. Oh, oh. Wow. You tired of the pussy at the house sucking? You gonna find some pussy to suck, bitch. Anyway, mm -mm 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 -mm. I heard P. Diddy, P. Diddy got a lot of slack for fat shame and Lizzo. How many motherfuckers gonna get in trouble for talking about this fat bitch who be twerking? Can you feel it? When is somebody finally gonna say, well, tell that fat bitch to stop twerking? Don't you don't me. The percentage of people who get Her? true joy out of seeing Lizzo twerk is such a small representation <laughs> of the nation. Every nigga who is enjoying to see her twerk is on homeless status. <laughs> Niggas who live on the freeways and cardboard. That's who want to see Lizzo twerk. Don't nobody else want to see Lizzo twerk. Stop it, bitch. 
You fucking the world up. And all them fake bitches that's egging you on, those are either fat bitches or bitches. Just, you know how bitches be around sissies egging them on? Be like, go ahead, fuck them. But really, they looking at you laughing. They insincere bitches. Just insincere all the way around. If you was Lizzo friend and you cared about her, y'all would be saying she shouldn't be expressing herself built like that. Mm-mm-mm. So what, what did he say exactly? Built like that, she too big to be acting like we ain't going to talk shit. Now, if you want to twerk, bitch, twerk. But it ain't going to be looked at as something sexy. This is comedy. Everybody needs to... Every time Lizzo twerk, can we all just beatbox wherever you at? Wherever you at, what? when Lizzo twerk, be like... Then she'll stop twerking. If everybody beatbox when she twerk, I swear she'll stop twerking. She's going to be like, I'm going to stop because y'all ain't right. No, we right. That's why you stopping, bitch. <laughs> don't you don't be dark, 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 dark. Every time she twerk, beatbox. Wherever you at in the nation, whenever Lizzo start twerking, go in. <laughs> I, I mean, big, large, slow beatboxing. Right. <laughs> Nothing fast. Uh, so did well, he... if you got a tuba, pull it out and just start playing it. Well, now he's apologizing. Now he's apologizing because he's getting too much backlash. See, what I didn't did he say. Diddy. He said it said Diddy called Diddy spoke out after fans were calling him fat phobic for telling Lizzo to stop twerking. I'm fat phobic and I'm fat. How the fuck are you not gonna be fat phobic? Don't you know when you fat, your life gonna end sooner? Is that is that not a fact? <laughs> okay. There ain't so- no bitches at the motherfucking <laughs> old folks home. In their 80s, obese. And if, it's, if it is a bitch in her 80s at the old folks home, obese, that bitch ain't walking nowhere. They rolling up through the old folks home. Now, it's now, a swole ass nurse behind that bitch. Yeah, where'd she go? Now she on day by day. It, it happened on Easter. Because, you know, his son has one of the hottest uh, online, I guess, like, what is it? All these girls go on there, so people pay. Mm-hmm. to watch it, and then he apparently pays the, the, the dancers, whatever, or they get their money, cash app, what have you. So they were having like a live Easter Sunday thingy. And when this money bag, yo song came on, one, two, three, she started, she started dancing, because you know, you can see everybody. And then they said that, uh, Diddy said to Lizzo, whoa, 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 it's Easter Sunday, let's play something a little more family friendly. Because she started to do that. Well, so. that's not fat shaming. Well, he didn't know how to check the bitch. I would have been like, bitch, get your big ass ass off the fat damn camera, bitch. <laughs> Sweatbox bed having ass. But then they, but then they said that when Drea, when Drea started twerking, that he didn't stop her. That's right. It's like when oh, they get oh, twerking, you play you your motherfucking what? cool oh, music. Yo, come on, I'm better heard, better heard, better heard. Let's keep it fair. Oh my lord. The average size woman in America is a size 14. Yeah. Are they, are, so yeah. let's keep it fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lizzo is closer to what the average woman looks like, and the real thin women are really not the average, you know. Now you see body how Zoe type. put that. Zoe put that in a way where they can feel good. But average bitches are lonely than a motherfucker in America. <laughs> average bitches ain't got nobody. Who really with them? Arf, if, arf. if you wear 14, you can't act like you the shit. You want to hear soon his... Soon as you say something out of pocket, motherfucker, bitch, what your fat ass talking to, bitch? You want to hear his apology? You want to hear why his reason Get your was? worn, <laughs> sap, built ass <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when people get mad at me, they call me fat. Do you think I get mad? I'm happy in my skin. <laughs> That's what fat people say. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this is me. And if you can't take me for who I am. No. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Get your <laughs> sun bear built ass out of here. <laughs> but he did pull try to back he, ass out of here. He man. did try to give one hell of a, a excuse. Hand the body. What'd he do? He said, he, this is his, his response, his apology or what have you. He put out on uh, Instagram. He said, there's one thing I want to make clear. My queen, my sister, Lizzo. When I stopped the music, it's because it had a lot of curses in there. Not because she was twerking. She's one of the best twerkers in the world. 
Okay, let's keep that clear. And he said, it wasn't about twerking. You're allowed to twerk on Easter. It was about, it was a lot of cursing in the record. I don't need child services knocking on my door right now. You understand? That's why we stopped the record, Lizzo. But you'll fuck your child daughter. I mean, Ooh. girlfriend. And then he says, Lizzo, we the love you. you talking about, Everybody man? stop looking for the negative. That's what he said. That's what the city's. Mm -hmm. Looking for the negative? You ain't keeping it 100, did he? If you keep it 100, motherfuckers ain't got nowhere to go with it. You sugarcoating the shit, but maybe you're doing it because you got sponsors and their money is important because you don't want to be out here like the rest of us fucked up because mm -hmm. then all your bitches go away. Motherfuckers talk to you for real. See, you got that paper, so you motherfucking motherfuckers work shit out with you, especially all the coons and shit. When you got that paper, you got some motherfucking position in the game. People don't check you quick. Mm. But a nigga like Marcus, motherfucker, tell him, you don't shut your motherfucking ass up. They <laughs> You know what? Marcus ain't got that bag yet, but when he get that bag, <laughs> remember, I, well, hey, remember I told you, boy, when you get that bag, motherfuckers gonna switch up the way they talk to you. Real shit. They gonna talk to you like that now. No, they ain't there. They gonna talk to you like that right now, motherfucker. You gonna, you gonna shut the fuck up too, goddamn it. You gonna check all the busters, all the motherfuckers that ain't got that bag. But when Russell Simmons or somebody be like, I want you to film this for nothing and I want you to do it now, mm. you gonna be like, okay. Yes, sir. Where the camera at, sir? Uh, <laughs> Russell Simmons don't pay like, none of them motherfuckers no real money. God damn it. All he do is fuck youngsters. Anyway. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> what? That's what he do, nigga. And he left the country. He was like, I'm not paying my debt to society. I ain't finna be like R. Kelly talking about COVID-19. The judge was oh, like, get oh, your oh. sick ass back in there. Oh, oh, oh. But we do have to acknowledge Lizzo is attractive. Lizzo is what? Attractive. Attractive. Zo, you always call him <laughs> bitches who don't get chose attractive. I'm just saying you, in you, the face. You my nigga, dog. That bitch ain't attractive in the face. How are you attractive and your face wide? There's some attracted, attractive, wide face women no, out there. This face you're, wide. Wait, you're. Oh, you know what? You gonna get it. But you're, she, she's. No, I was just gonna say something. I couldn't argue with no, that. No, am I lying? No, I was. Wait, attractive. no. I was just gonna D, say. You saying D Optimus Prime? You know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, I was just gonna say, Zo, why you continue to argue or make a point with this guy on that? Because it's to each his own. That's his flavor. He, he he's very particular about what people look like. Lizzo ain't attractive. Oh God my God, it. you can't look, tell him anything. I got see? nice legs. Because my legs look nice. Do you think I go around talking about I'm the shit? I'm yes, just keeping it you real. Do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Lizzo is yeah. built. Like a minivan. Oh my god! <laughs> that takes away attractive. A MPV. <laughs> All niggas with fat bitches talk about she got a cute face. That is fucking hilarious to me. My girl cute though. God damn it! But she is obese, nigga. Uh, but but if they're attracted to them, I bet she ain't that, sitting on your face while you watching Netflix. Uh, she probably is. It's a lot just, of fat thank girls you, just smothering are niggas big. every yeah. night. Thank when you. when fat bitches sit on niggas' face. It's either real old niggas. Oh, God. Or niggas who is oh, oh, on their fucking last leg. It's one or the other. I don't have to see the nigga. If you a fat bitch sitting on a nigga face, it's an old nigga or a broke nigga. Oh, my God. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. Lay it oh, down on me shit. now. <laughs> Wait. I didn't hear what she said. Sarah, What's Sarah? Sarah said, or it's the youngster that knows how to hold his breath. Wow. She said well, it was a youngster that don't know. No, it's a youngster who don't got nowhere to go. Oh, you know what? Don't listen to him. Come on, don't now, fight y'all. Why we acting like the, why we acting like the world ain't obvious? Well, gotta pay the rent with my dick. Come on, If you girl. follow the nigga who Sarah's sitting on his face, ain't nothing but sad songs playing while he walking. Exactly. Don't listen to him. You can't win with him. He's going to stick with that. Every time that nigga walk, I feel like going on. <laughs> exactly. Don't fight. It doesn't Georgia. matter. You're never Georgia. Gonna, you never Georgia. win with him. Georgia. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> fat niggas is out here, but if fat niggas got that paper, they fucking... They fucking Badass bitches. All the fake niggas too. who got that bad one. It ain't no fresh, it ain't no dick. That's okay. It don't matter, but they getting the pleasure. Oh. Number pressure, no dick. 
Look, look, her, her point is taken. Hey, Sarah, I agree with your point. Fat niggas with that bag get a chance to skeet on and in bad bitches. Oh, Fat niggas who ain't got that bag got to fuck with people that look like them. God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's All wrong. sad song niggas. Everywhere he go, it's a sad song playing. What's the <laughs> can't argue the book. That's Corey. <laughs> I'm going up yonder, ass niggas. <laughs> she say with a full plate of food. That's one thing, though. Them big bitches will cook for you. <laughs> Only thing I hate when they cook in negligees and shit. She be like, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Uh-huh, right. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> no, but a lot of fluffy girls get a lot of attention. No, but to each his own. They you have their folks, too. Everybody a lot has their of own. Fluffy girls. They get a lot of attention. Motherfuckers be laughing at them. Oh, stop. Let him Did you see after the Lakers I'm game? I'm saying, yeah, I saw yes, the Lakers. Do you think people story. was laughing with her? You think no. them was, they was rooting her on? No. They was laughing at her. They was I like, agree. hell no, that walrus got some flexibility. Wow. Well, especially here in L.A. <laughs> now, if she was doing that shit in Milwaukee somewhere or, you So know. you saying all the niggas in Milwaukee fuck with fat bitches? <laughs> you know what? Oh, my God. It's cold over there. Niggas got, <laughs> <laughs> niggas got to cuff up. <laughs> Just as bad as him. Women got dual purpose in cold climates. <laughs> I just say that there's I people. That, bitch with some I just pussy. no. I just say there's people that like big people, skinny people, dark people, light people, whatever, tall, short, whatever. He's got their preferences, and you just not feeling it. Well, how you gonna call me out? You, I can't have my preferences. No, that's what I'm saying. Is you can, but you act like you're speaking for everybody. I'm I want to be tagged. For everybody, it's niggas who need a place to go. I, I want to be tagged on Instagram. So y'all tag me with a gang of fluffy, beautiful girls. Thank you. I bet you we gonna see some baddies. Tag me with some baddie fluffy. It's some fat bitches like Zoe. You don't want to look at this shit. Some fluffy baddies. <laughs> <laughs> well, they still heavy. I mean, it's a different. Well, oh, shit. Y'all uh, tag me with the fine ones at. Mr. Zo what? I'm talking about the big girls. I'm not knocking you. You serve your purpose. I'm just saying, don't be twerking that in public. Twerk for me at home, baby. If I had a fat oh, bitch, I, but baby, God, don't do that. See, don't let everybody that's see you worse. do that, baby. I well. got to explain this shit for weeks. Mm. <laughs> I can't be explaining myself out in the streets because of this. Uh, 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 bitch, just uh, uh, uh. dance slow. They don't talk about fat bitches when they dance like this at block parties and shit. But if a fat bitch is out there getting down and shit, they be like, go ahead, rerun. Oh, uh, my God. Oh, she locking, nigga? <laughs> don't listen to him. They ain't trying to don't lock, listen. but when fat people dance fast, it look like they locking. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> 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 Rerun! <laughs> oh, damn. Look at D laughing low. I'm not, it's just terrible. <laughs> D be oh, laughing. And Rerun used to dance. That's why D still go to the gym. <laughs> D goes to the gym because she don't want to be a fat bitch. Wow. Real shit. Yeah, if D cool. fall off, D will get big. D, oh, do you have the fat gene? No. What'd you say? I'm asking if she has the fat gene. No. Of course she family, does. In my family, no, Have I you don't. seen D arms? D got them Popeye arms. Oh, my me? God. <laughs> D got Popeye arms. I mean, I feel sorry for a bitch D still on. Exactly. That bitch going down. Should. That's right, though. I like my big arms, too. And my legs, my big legs. D got, yeah. This nigga said D. Cylinders. They got Popeye arms. <laughs> He used to run uh, running back for the pitch by his Oh, very funny. D baddest in this bitch. No, I, I'm, I'm serious, though. Tag is, me with no, the big no. girls, the fluffy girls, at, mis, at Z, Mr. Zowet. I, I want to see. I think you have an undercover fetish. Something's coming I like here. beautiful women of uh -huh. all shapes and sizes. Fetish. No, it's some guys who like big girls. 
That's I like I'm skinny saying. girls. I, I like skinny Have you thick. ever seen D with a, I mean, have you ever seen Zoe with a fat bitch before? I haven't seen it with any woman. I seen Zoe with a couple of people in his life. I ain't never seen him with a fat bitch. Mm. And D, you have seen me with a woman before. No, I have I, not. I, Tell me where, when. The same time he's, well, never mind. I ain't gonna. When? You can't put all this information. That's why I played this one no, out No, but I for swear him. to God on everything He can't I go love. there. I, do, I, I swear to God, I, I don't think I have. D just called you gay. That's what she did. Oh, God, no. I just call him a slick. A low key. I ain't never seen him with no women. I ain't I'm never slick. seen a nigga with a pussy <laughs> whole time. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Got, you you Got you back, white face. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nigga ain't never looked at a brown tampon getting pulled out. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, it happens sometimes. Some of these that bitches the got root beer blood. That was for the white face remarks, though. But I know which I'm talking about. I remember. That's how you signify. I didn't say you root beer blood, bitch. I seen that brown ass tampon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Get your root beer blood having ass out my car. That's a shame. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, uh, uh. Too much. That's too far. Too far. So I got a couple of more things I want to. I want to. I want to put this out here before we get into D shit. Listen, I heard Black China is charging niggas nine hundred and fifty dollars for FaceTime calls. What? Now is that a bad idea or is it a good idea? Well, it's a good idea if she's making money, if niggas is desperate she enough to pay She's bold enough to say, I want $950 for the motherfucking phone call, and motherfuckers motherfucker calling that motherfucking phone. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us how it went, phone? Corey. Tell us how it went. <laughs> I didn't call her, but I was thinking about doing that shit. <laughs> See? Yeah. I am thinking of proposing, I will call you up and give you funny relationship advice for five minutes. For what, 20, 25 bucks. $100 a call. Is reasonable. FaceTime. You can record the shit. I don't give a fuck. Is that fucked up? No. Is that a lot, greedy? A lot of people are out there doing that. That's what we should do, Corey. I knew, I knew you was going like that. Oh. That's a great idea. So, I'm talking about, I will give you funny relationship advice. You can record it. Because if this bitch gets $950 a phone call for some pussy that you can't get, and the only reason you want it is because you can't smell it, Mm-hmm. Yo, that's Is what... Is $100 too much? No. I don't want to rob nobody, but God damn it, this is what I do for a living. We not working at least till the end of May, maybe June. I'm fucked up. I ain't even gonna lie. I fucked off all my money on clothes and scandalous hoes. Well, that was way before the, the COVID. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I ain't got no money now. <laughs> that, that clothes and scandalous hoes. <laughs> That's where all my money went to. Of course, bills and shit. Hey, that's what uh, what you was talking about, though. That's what me and Grady gonna do. Somebody say that's thirsty as fuck. <laughs> no, a lot of people are out there doing it, but they got sweated because, what's your McCall? The, the, what's she do? She was doing something like that, but what happened was she didn't say how much it was. She advertised it like, hey, you know, I'll do these phone calls with my fans type thing. And she advertised like that. And then when they tried to go on it, it was like, hey, for 90 some dollars or whatever, I can do this. And they were like, oh, that's what? foul. Maybe I ain't got to charge $100. Maybe I charge $50. But fucking five minutes, that's some, that's some good ass no, time yeah. to talk to a stranger. Mm -hmm. You should do that. Because, again, everybody is moving to the Internet whether they're doing DJ sets. Mm -hmm. You should do that. Uh, uh, me and Grady, we scheduled on the 17th to do a live IG. We don't have it set up to take no money, but we yet. gonna do it. We <laughs> gonna, yet. <laughs> but we gonna do the live IG. We, it's called Roast Your Relationship mm -hmm. with me and Grady. And people gonna call in with their relationship issues and we gonna roast them for the bad choices that they make. We doing that live on IG, but you're right. You think, should do that. I actually think I could help some couples either fix it, but uh, I'm bold good enough one, to critical say. Critical thinker. I can't hear you. Sorry, good one. Critical thinker said you should do um, fifty-one fifty cents. Fifty-one fifty. Man, 51, you should 50 do that cents. shit, dude. But I think I can help some good people one. not only with trying to get together. Some people need to get the fuck away from each other, and nobody ever tell them that. Doctor Phil can't fix everything. Yeah. 
Motherfucker, some people, look, homie, you was fucking with her because that's what you was at this time in your life. That's what happened to a lot of people I know. At this time in their life, mm -hmm. he or she was on that level. But here it is 10 years later, 15 years later. You ain't on that level right there where y'all first met. Yep. Mm. You can't fix it. All you can do is be miserable because you on another level. Now, I'm not saying you abandon the person that you love but i am saying be fixed sometimes right right especially especially That's yeah. disrespect yeah if somebody is disrespecting you and you grown let's say you're a 45 year old male and you got somebody talking to you like you a motherfucking 14 year old male mm -hmm. That is some shit that has to get fixed because that's what leads to violence and shit like that from motherfuckers who never get in trouble except for the relationship. That's in. real. That's real. Yeah. That's 100% real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I got some shit for yeah. you. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying... I don't know. I think about that. I never wanted to be thirsty, but I will hustle on the internet. We got to. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I had... Did, let me tell you something. California governor said this year it ain't going to be no mass gathering. 2021, right. 2021. Yeah. The baseball players made millions, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of them motherfuckers are straight on their bills. Right. Or most of them. But entertainers. No sets. Yeah. Can't be on set. Are fucked. Yeah. Yeah. And you gotta pray they don't do that across the board. Yeah. Cause if they do it to all the states where ain't no gatherings, mm -hmm. how the fuck motherfuckers gonna make money without concerts and shit like that? Your favorite artist probably is more dependent on his concerts than what the record label was paying him. Did that sound right? Yeah. He do at the concert level mm -hmm. than what the record company gonna ever pay him for his motherfucking mm -hmm. album. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, I don't think nobody should pay no for now a FaceTime call. Yeah. that's crazy. Because what information? All she mm -hmm. can do is show me her pussy hole for $9. Yeah. Take two zeros off. $9. Take two zeros off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, view. The look at the monkey on my FaceTime and I can take pictures and shit. Mm. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. No, I it's might, real. I might really go into this motherfucking FaceTime game giving relationship advice because I really think I got enough information to help and it'll be funny. Right. And, and you're talking about something that's really big about the economy. I mean, Jim Jackson. Uh, Somebody say better mop. <laughs> Jim Jackson and, and CJ McCullough. Is freezing. Go I think ahead, it was C, I think it was CJ McCullough who came out and basically said a lot of NBA players, man, like 85, 90 percent of NBA players, man, Over are living a living check to check. Over their head and bill. Yeah. And then, you know, the NBA is reducing those payments, you know, and it, it's, it's tough for a lot of them because they're at a certain lifestyle and they got to be able to keep those bills coming in. But the season, you know, is pretty much going to be canceled. Yeah. I was proud of the fact that uh, my man said his players got all their money. Rich Paul. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Let me tell you why. Because Rich Paul is out here in the L.A. area and, you know what I'm saying, I run into the brother. You know, a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a lot like every day, but I've ran into him enough, which I was pleasantly shocked he knew who I was. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what I'm saying? He's a cool young brother. And to, and to be in the position he's Innovative. In, Innovative, brother. You know what I'm saying? You got to give him and LeBron credit for what the fuck they did. Absolutely. They have cornered some top-notch talent. And to know that they all got their money, that feel good because they normally mm -hmm. fuck the brothers. Now, see... They tried to stop him. A lot of times. The NCAA tried to stop the brother because they felt like he was garnering too much power. See, see, America... He wasn't Christian McCaffrey. Exactly. America <laughs> don't care about giving the brother money. They just don't want him to have power. And LeBron and him are establishing a power base. The NCAA jumped in and said, well, you got to have a bachelor's degree. Somebody say the thing freezing because I heard Sarah feelings. That ain't uh, true. You know what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them, Sarah. Right? But they said you got to have a bachelor's degree in order to talk to these kids that are coming that you're trying to recruit from the NCAA. And what the fuck is a bachelor's degree? A waste of time. It's debt. A college diploma is debt. But see, what debt? D-E-B-T. 
But see what they understood. Is it, is it pronounced debt or is e it debt? D e b t. Debt. Oh no. <laughs> no, but what they understood was only debatable. No, but this is what they understood. This is why it was such a power <laughs> move by the NCAA and seen as a racist move. Mm. It's all racist because they understand that only 16 percent of African Americans have a bachelor's degree. So they knew he didn't have one. What the fuck am I going to do with a bachelor's motherfucking degree? I ain't, man, I will never work. I will never punch in a clock and have some motherfucker talk crazy to me. If I get a regular job, you know I'm getting ready to set that motherfucker up. This is the heist, nigga. Yeah. If you see me working a regular job, just be cool, because the shit finna go down. Office space. Where's my stapler? Where's you that see nigga? me at office, yep. Max. We about to have that motherfucker who oh. break them safe drops you that in nigga. the back like... <laughs> you that nigga, nigga from Juice. Nigga. <laughs> you remember that scene in Juice? <laughs> I, I ain't got nothing against people who make an honest living doing that. I wish you... But I just done seen too much. I done paid too many dues. Mm. I worked at Burger King, man. Them motherfuckers, what they paid me was a slap in the face. But I didn't need they check. I used to, when, when Burger King used to give me the check, I'd be like, oh yeah, this too. Because nigga, I was on that, I was on that drive through getting a bag, nigga. This, when I was in high school, they didn't have the computers to show everything right, right so there. So it was missing at the end of the nigga, day, it was short was, change. When I worked drive through I opened that motherfucker, uh, $8, nigga. <laughs> they know it ain't right, but they know they get more than they supposed to. Uh -huh. That's why they be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, take all this shit. I put that uh -huh. shit in my pocket, nigga. Uh -huh. Nigga, if I work, if I do, I can't do no honest job. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. You're going to see them walking me out of there. <laughs> shit. Uh -huh. Well, that's the truth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, but that shit you said about. Uh, Rich Paul and how they try to throw a monkey wrench at what he doing, that's, yeah. that's big, so. Because yeah. a lot of motherfuckers don't realize that. Them motherfuckers, everything you do, they come up with a new rule to throw a monkey wrench in your shit. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. But fortunately, the outcry was so loud and people was like, man, that's a racist move. Rich Paul doesn't necessarily need a degree to be able to function as an agent. He's doing an excellent job with LeBron James and all the other people that he has under his roster. So to try to change the rule and move the goalposts just for him, it was almost like they were targeting him to prevent him from establishing a power base. Like I said, they don't mind giving you money. What they don't want you to, to have is power. Yeah. Now, Quincy Jones told me that before. He was like, man, get some money, put your people on, give them jobs. And that's what Rich Paul does. Right. I was in the I was in the barbershop with Rich Paul when he was talking about they may I hope this ain't drop snitching. I ain't trying to drop snitch, but I don't think the brother trip on that. They was talking about getting him that job in New York as mm -hmm. the as the um what's the motherfucker? GM. Is it the GM? They was talking about getting him that job because they know he got the assets that he can bring there mm -hmm. that can help New York become a playoff team again. Mm -hmm. I mean, they didn't use him, but they was, they was thinking about it, I think. And that man was on the phone talking to his people trying to set them up. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, if I get this, then I can get what's the name, this job. Woo, woo, woo. That's what I'm saying. It's like, man, I know they hate that shit. Yeah. They don't want a motherfucker to be able to get the other niggas out the motherfucking mm -hmm. fish tank that's full of motherfucking old stanky water. Well, see, that's a power move. Yeah. That's, that, that's, that was the other piece to what Quincy said. He said, get money. He said, but after you put all your people on and you give them jobs, he said, because if you don't give them jobs, they're going to grow envious of you and they'll attack you, your own crew. Mm -hmm. He said, so make sure if you blow up, you employ them to keep them from looking at your pockets. And, and I'm going to tell you something about Quincy Jones, man. I am so glad that I don't know him like that. <laughs> Because the first thing I would want to ask him, how was you around so many niggas who fucking niggas and you ain't fuck nobody? Remember he was drop snitching on everybody? Calling niggas, oh, what's your name? He do this. I was like, well, what you do, Nick? Oh, you was Lord. with them. Damn we, it. We found out what my man, what's the dude name? Frank what? What's his name? Uh-oh. Uh, the, the nigga was... 
He's singing shit. Is it Frank? Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean. We know who he was in the studio with. So the man. We know who he was in the studio with. Niggas fucking the studio. Oh my God, here we go. Look, let me tell y'all something. In the music business, when niggas at the studio, they smoking and fucking. What? Tell <laughs> you. Look at That's this nigga do at the baby. studio. <laughs> So Frank Ocean, what? whoever he spent quality time in the studio with. The man can't even work. Oh, look at D with this phony shit. Go ahead, D. So because he's in the studio working with different people, everybody got to be gay? Thanks, D. Like I said. No, thanks nothing, because that's what he believes. Look, he's going to continue. Like I said. You too? You got it all up? Oh, yeah. If, if niggas hang with niggas, that fuck niggas. They fucking niggas too. <laughs> oh shit. Can we put that on a t shirt? Nice. <laughs> niggas who hang with niggas who fuck niggas fuck niggas too. Now One more time. Say it again, because I'm following. Make sure you get it, Zoe. Go deeper. That's what you say. No, no. Not, oh. not in this sense. Oh. Oh. Not, not in this sense. Oh. <laughs> Niggas who hang with niggas who fuck niggas, fuck niggas too. Don't let them act like they just watching. Let me tell you something. I'm going to have, I'm going to have, I, I'm going to do a show one day where I bring a, a, a couple of gay people on. Some might be niggas. And... When I'm around gay men, I am so blunt. Oh, it's ridiculous. I want them motherfuckers to be like, okay, I ain't gonna catch him up. Cause if you around niggas who fuck niggas and you ain't fucking niggas, they gonna play with you. They either gonna flirt with you, they might accuse you of something. This is when you hang around homosexual men. Oh my God. <laughs> They going to do some slick shit like a bitch. Oh my God. That's why when you around a nigga you know who fuck niggas, you supposed to talk to him not only about what y'all got to talk about, but what the fuck is on his mind. Let him get it out. So what's what? up, nigga? So you fuck with niggas, huh? No. That's what's oh up, my, my nigga. God. That's your shit, huh? That's what you do. Oh. I feel you, my nigga. I feel you. Oh. That's when they be like, oh, this motherfucker ain't scared to talk about the elephant in the room. Do you think I'm finna be in a room with a fucking <laughs> nigga who I know fuck niggas and not bring it up? You are out your mind. I'm Even not going oh, hey, to Hi, yes, let's do this. The sky is nice today. What? Get the fuck out of here. Even if it had nothing to do with that, just about gayness. It just, if it just you were there to do some work that had nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with sex, nothing to do with what, they, what their preference is. You would say that? You would just bring that out? I don't feel comfortable being around no man who fuck with men without motherfucking addressing it. So how would you intro the conversation? You walk in the studio, you see who's in there, you know what's cracking. How would you open up the conversation? Oh, what's up? This the fuck boy session, huh? <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all, I'm fucking with y'all. But that's how you break the ice. This the shit dig in groove right here. We about to get to this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I doubt that. You gotta, um, you gotta break the ice. Is that indica or booty juice? What is you that? You know who was supposed to do the show today? <laughs> you know who was supposed to do the show today? Who? Flame Monroe. Oh, shit. I don't know what the fuck happened to Flame, but I wanted to bring Flame in because Flame... I believe I can have a real conversation with Flame. Mm -hmm. I don't believe Flame is a motherfucker who is ashamed of nothing the fuck he do. I don't think That's why yeah. I can have a conversation with him. But if I'm around a motherfucker who know he fuck niggas but act like he don't, <laughs> that's a weirdo. <laughs> He's like, oh, motherfucker, you, <laughs> you got cold shit 19, nigga. I'm just saying, man. Quincy gave me, <laughs> hey, Quincy gave me good advice. He said, <laughs> said, once you get your money, go out there to see if your money has any power. 
And that's what well, as Corey know a lot about. That's pussy. what Rich Paul is doing. He's getting power. He's that's not real just shit though, he's though. not just getting money. He getting power, and Speak, they don't want him to have power. Speaking of money and power, let's go into this shit. And D, please, if you can. Speak to this conversation as best you can. Because it's some weird shit. It's going to be a little awkward. But I want to talk about this shit. It's some more stuff? Booty hole stuff? It might be. Oh, okay. This nigga crazy. It ain't going to be. <laughs> it might be. Right. You're familiar with that, huh, Marcus? What is that? What is that? They sent him pictures of the thick, pretty girl. Is she that girl, like that girl done had more than likely that surgery, but she got... It, let me tell you something. It ain't the it ain't the bottom heavy that's unattractive. To it's him. the top heavy. Oh, that's why. To him. Really? Look, Sarah, you gonna have to yeah. put some earplugs in. <laughs> no, there. you don't know Corey by no, now. It's just you know that shape. It's you, the it's, upside down milk carton, little bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you remember those big ass? You remember those big ass fat bats? The plastic bats <laughs> the used fat to get. Plastic oh. bats. When you built like that plastic bat. <laughs> With the wiffle ball? Yeah, them big fat plastic bats. <laughs> Dee, no, Dee be signifying slick. Oh, you talking I about the wiffle ball? Because I knew what the bat was. Oh my God, Corey. I'm oh. talking about SpongeBob SquarePants, <laughs> Bill Bitch. Oh. <laughs> 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 what you say, Sarah? <laughs> Niggas be Patrick on SpongeBob. <laughs> she said all the dudes be looking like Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the girls who Zoe's showing, you see Zoe showing the good pictures. They, they, the, the this fans nigga ain't showed the me. good humor bitches that he didn't got pictures from. The, fa hey, the, the bitches that eating don't shit. The family bringing these in. Look at this girl right here. This, that thick right there, boy. That, 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 that light skin peanut butter. Which is what I was finna but get. But that's like yeah. an average sized girl right that's there. That's that average that's 14 right. right there. That's all right. But I'm saying like. That's all right. Well, yeah. let me shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. I ain't doing nothing. Making motherfuckers look crazy about how they feel and shit. Well, but I'm just yeah. saying. Something else that might make motherfuckers feel some yeah. kind of way. I am man enough to talk about this. Because I am man enough to speak on what I observe. I want to say this, when, when I meet a lot of my friends who have success, they normally have a light-skinned bitch on their side, or a bitch that's another, they don't got a dark bitch on their side. Mm. I see this a lot. Mm. I want to talk about it. Right. Why do you think that happens? Mm. Let's talk about that. Well, you spoke about it many times before. Have I? Oh, yeah. Well, what did I say? You said that a lot of your, uh, like, NBA players, football players, people in entertainment. Yeah. And I said, yeah, people with m most money. With most of, of the money. money. Mm. So why do they do that, Zoe? <sighs> <laughs> I just think it's odd, you know. We got black grandmamas. We got black mamas. I think it's odd to like go for this exotic look on purpose outside of your race. If, if you appreciate your mama, it should be easy to appreciate your mate. Somebody say colonialism. Right? So, and again, just like, the, just like what we talked about earlier with the Surgeon General. If your blank, girl look like your mama, does that mean you always thought your mama, you want to fuck your mama? No. No, this my is not God. an Oedipus complex. No. But what I'm saying is, if, if, if we were taught a little bit differently in terms of our conditioning here in America, we would learn to appreciate dark skin, nappy hair. But again, America is, you know, a racist society and everything about you, everything about your culture is under attack. Mm. And it creates this sense of self-hate. Like dark is not attractive. Nappy is not, you know, suitable. I mean, God, for Christ's sake, your hair, the, the goddamn Supreme Court has made your hair illegal in certain workplaces. occupations, yeah. in mm -hmm. certain workplaces. Mm -hmm. So again, it's self-hate. And when you get these younger generations who are born into a society where they don't know what we've been through, what we came from, they think they're in a post-racial society, they tend to fucking veer out into all of these other different cultures 
without really understanding the value of staying home, staying with a black man, staying with a black woman. Everybody's looking for motherfucking baby hair and green eyes or light skin and all that shit. And they don't really understand that the darker the berry, the stronger the gene. The stronger the gene. You understand what I'm saying? Say that one more time. The darker the berry, the stronger the gene. Now, white people know by 2042, they're going to become the minority race on the planet Earth, subject to all brown people. Now, look at Bill Gates. Bill Gates is basically saying, I got to get into Africa and bring these motherfucking vaccinations in there because Africa is multiplying faster than any culture on the planet Earth. The, the, I heard all of the sick people in Africa are the people who went to the Red Cross. But... Or get, or get supplies from Caucasian people. But do you see what I'm saying? And I heard they rejected that vaccine out yeah. there. They tried to come with it. It's just American media don't show it. Yeah. So again, he's attacking the fact that we can reproduce them out of existence. Mm. So now you see this motherfucking COVID-19, uh, this, this COVID and then some of the solutions that are coming back is mandatory vaccinations. And then on top of that, you're looking at being able to track people who have been vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So Bill Gates has ID 2020, which is a chip that follows people that registers your whole medical shit via vaccinations. So again, Bill Gates was sued by India for vaccination, uh, what is called vaccination injury. He said, I'm gonna come in here and help y'all and I'm gonna give you guys these vaccinations. Well, a lot of people died. A lot of people got ill because of these vaccinations. I keep telling people, Bill Gates is, is Damien Thorne of the Omen. That's the real motherfucker behind the scenes. We all focused on Trump, but it's really Bill Gates that's pushing all this shit. Mm. Back to the light skin shit, but that's, that's, <laughs> that's deep what he said. I want to say some shit that I hope triggers a nerve. I don't want motherfuckers to be playing victim no more. When I was a broke nigga riding a bike, mm. I didn't have a car. Coincidentally, I had a light-skinned girlfriend that lasted the longest. Mm. I wound up marrying her. Not because her skin color, she used to let me come over with my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I didn't have a car. I was a broke Motherfucker, I was baby boy. I used to drive her shit to gigs and everything. That's the motherfucker who had my back back then. Mm. That's who I fucked with for real. Mm. Now, I'm just saying, as I've thought about everything, this is one thing I know I don't want. See, I don't like the fact that they be motherfucking trying to Make it where you can't wear your hair naturally if you're black. I don't like that. That is some racist bullshit. But I do want to say this. At my age and what I've seen, I cannot have a partner who starts the day with fake hair, fake eyelashes, and a whole bunch of makeup. Partner. I can't do it. If my, wo my woman cannot face the world in disguise every day. So whatever her color is, it ain't gonna be a bitch who empty the garbage in a wig. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can fuck a bitch like that. See, yeah, they're eating pizza. He's being I nice. can't cuff a bitch <laughs> like that. If you ain't comfortable in your own skin, I know we ain't gonna make it. Bitch, you don't like you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> your eyelashes look like Rodan wings when he flying, what bitch. The 
<laughs> Those big thick ones are crazy looking. I, I can't don't know even what these bitches I can't you got get. on. I'm talking about all color bitches. But what the fuck is you doing? It's like a thing now. It's like over. All I can do is speak yet. for me. No, no, I, I get it. No I agree with him on that one. Who is That's crazy. accessorized from the neck up. Well, you only see a regular face when she in the hospital. Yeah, it's like a thing I will now. say this though. <laughs> even then, yo, I don't know. Even she then, in the I hospital. <laughs> even I then, can't I fuck with you for real. Yeah. I, I will say this though, Corey. The black woman, with or without makeup, is the most beautiful woman on the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. I will say that. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck you? Look, you disagree? I didn't disagree no. nothing. Somebody must have somebody must have said you a message. Whatever. Somewhere in Asia, it's an Asian man saying the Asian woman you, exactly. is the yeah. most beautiful sure. thing. I'm not talking about opinions. I'm talking about facts. Fact. You cannot be. It's his factual opinion, remember? <laughs> That's Bobby. That's that, Bobby. That, that, those factual <laughs> opinions. I, you know, I'll go as far as to say I agree with Zoe. Mm -hmm. I do agree with Zoe. But you <laughs> cannot be a wipe my face off bitch and expect I, me to take you seriously. I agree. There's some I magicians. know why you got that shit on. You hate yourself. I agree. There's some makeup mm -hmm. magicians out there. I ain't talking there. about motherfucker who... Do this shit here once in a while. I'm talking about people who are not going to be seen in public as they are. You cannot build a healthy family with somebody like that. Mm. Right. Mm. I agree. Yep. They do not like they self. I agree. And you can say this mm. or you can say that. Motherfucker, I ain't stupid. I've been on this planet a long time and I done peeped a lot of game. All them bitches who won't face the world how they look hate they self. I agree. I agree. I'm not saying mm -hmm. they're going to hate themselves forever, but at this point in your life where well, you didn't have that wig on for four years straight, nope. Bush was a game show host. I mean, uh, 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 uh -huh. what's the president now? George Bush? Trump. Trump. Trump was a game show host last time you oh. went out the house without that shit on. It's embarrassing when I see a bitch come out the house and this bitch is in disguise. I'm like, bitch, we going to the movie, not a costume party. No, you're you going to a masquerade, bitch? Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> These bitches refuse to take a take a picture without their shit on. Look at their page. Go up and down that motherfucker. You ain't gonna see a lot of them with, without their shit on their face. Them bitches are in disguise to fool you. You can't fuck them in the pool. They'll be like, no, I can't get wet. I, <laughs> I will melt like the no Wicked Witch of the West. For them. That's right. And, uh -uh. and Corey, you're 100% right. You're talking about the women that hate themselves, the women that don't approve of themselves, the women that have low self-esteem that try to hide behind the mask of makeup. That's right. 100%, I agree with you. I'll be around, I'll be around beautiful women mm -hmm. of all colors, dark, mm -hmm. mocha, Light, but if you got on that shit every time you see me, I'm gonna start looking at you like something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Come here. Oh. I can hear you, Sarah. Say it loud. She said some people got skin problems. Well, yeah, they got skin yeah. problems. Yeah, they embarrassed to their skin. No, but you yeah, can, you can and tell sometimes them. the people with skin <laughs> problems exacerbate their skin problems right, by, by putting makeup right, on. Right, and that's a whole different thing. But it'll that's always like, be an excuse. Yeah. Which ones we're talking right. about, like that overly no, done, you're 100% accentuated. Right. You're 100% oh, right. You know. I can't. I I not I I I I I been out here too long. You can't fool me. You can act like something wrong with me, but I'm telling you, if they with me, they like they self. They like the way they look if they fucking got on nothing on their face when they walk out the house. Put on a baseball cap and go to the base, go to walk to the grocery store with you. Yeah. I'm saying the reason they put on the baseball cap sometimes because they don't even want to do their hair. Right. Or some girls got the curly hair that's naturally because I done been around women who know how to make oils for their own hair. Right. And say, I don't know why these bitches won't start over and let their hair grow. 
I was like, what you mean let your hair grow? I didn't know nothing about when you oil your hair, it helps it grow. Well, not to me. My culture thinks differently. <laughs> But see, that's that'll, the, clog, that'll clog your scalp to me and mine. But see, that's the That'll effect. clog your scalp? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, we don't but, need it. See, we don't have that much of a dry, you know, scalp and skin and stuff Are you like saying that. Mexican people don't need to wear no type of uh, oils in their hair? No, on their scalp. You said on your scalp. Yeah, well, this, you is what I, this is what I was... We put um, our hair to not get frizzy, but not for the scalp. It'll clog But it. you put some in your hair? In my hair, but not on my scalp. You just said on the scalp. We don't use that on the scalp. Oh, I said scalp? Yeah. I don't, I don't even think I think of the word scalp. Do the research. Did I say scalp or was that in the... Craig fact? I said... Totally oh. Say that again, Sarah? Our hair is totally different than hers. That's what I'm trying to tell them. Yeah. Too. They hair is totally different. Black, black women hair, totally different than D Absolutely. hair. But you don't. Say, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Corey, we got to make the distinction. I got shit in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make the distinction between the women, the sisters that have been broken by white supremacy in America. Them the sisters image, are not for me. It, exactly. The image. At my age. Right. When I'm 20, when I'm 30, I could grow with a bitch. Mm hmm. Now, I can't have no lost bitch. I'm too old to come. I can't go all the way back down Nobody with you. Nobody has time. I got to teach this bitch how to love herself. I ain't got time to do it. It's not I'm bad. too old now. Right, but. I need a bitch who love herself off, off the jump. Right, but, mm. but let me tell you, there are a lot of sisters out there who actually do. There are a lot of what? sisters out there who love themselves, who love their skin, who love their body. Somebody say D got cricket there are a lot oil of in our hair. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're awfully dry. They're not oily. It's a lot of sisters. I'm sorry, Zoe, because I know yeah. you're making a good point. No, I'm just a saying there's a lot of sisters, sisters out there who love themselves, who, who are not like that, who, who, who can wear no makeup at all and still be as pretty as they I love those kind of sisters, man. Like you said, that could throw on some sweats and a baseball cap and walk to the corner store with you and it's totally comfortable in their skin. Those sisters actually exist. Of they course. just don't get the burn. They don't get the, uh, the media look this, the same way as these other ones do. Well, these other ones are making all, this, all these companies money. Mm -hmm. All that makeup and the hair and the stuff, those products. Well, that's you, how the said, you said what you said about black women. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something, homie. You ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready. Shit, I was ready. So, they ran out of skin lightening cream in Africa. Yeah, that's the number one selling product. Now, some African countries... Now, now, now but that, ain't that a motherfucker? It, but it's not only Africa, it's India, it's okay. Malaysia, okay. it's all these brown... It's, it's Brazil. Yeah, that's So when you one. make a statement like you did, Facts need to be. That's a crane. Oh, poor guy. Facts need to be kicked <laughs> about what else is going on. Oh yeah, we've, and we've done this, these shows. These, these are the facts that you don't hear from that side. You hear victimization on that side. Mm -hmm. But when you tell one, like I might take the time out. Fuck it, I'll go ahead and try. And you pull them to the side and you tell them, do you realize the way you? present yourself to the world, shows insecurity, most of the time they get mad at you. Of course, because they, they like it. Right. Some of, them, some of them will listen to you. I could smoke a bag of that, Corey. Uh, what you talking about? Mm -hmm. But most of them, the average motherfuckers, right. take you trying to talk to them for real as an insult. Mm -hmm. Most people, when you talk to them for real, they get insulted. Wait, Jamaica <laughs> with the skin lightning cream. Yeah. So eat Mexico, let's go there. Mexico has just acknowledged its Negroid population. A lot of black people came into Mexico through the slave trade as well and are technically Mexican. Yeah. But the government just recognized them. Hmm. So again, dude, a lot of people in there talking about, listen, you niggas need to understand, man, appreciating Quality sisters is not simping, dumbass niggas. Simping? Yeah, that, it, oh. like if you give a sister or a certain caliber of sister a compliment, we got a lot of young, dumb niggas out there mm. who call that simping. 
Well, that's why you don't have quality women in your life. You see, we talking about a certain but, but so, type of woman. People talk about the same way I'm doing there. Talk about me too. People gonna always talk yeah. about you. But, but, but the but only motherfuckers who really know you is the motherfuckers who was around you. Right. What they got to say about you? Right. Who is this guy for real? Is this guy really a fucking dirtbag or what? Right. You know what I'm saying? Them the motherfuckers who, who can really make an educated decision about who you are. But as we are influencers in the world, we got to be able to say, nah, brother, acknowledging quality, high quality, smart, intelligent, beautiful sisters is not simping. See, of course, when you say it we like have that, to, we have to... Bazo. Lizzo ain't no bad bitch, nigga. Oh, jeez, back to that one. Lizzo is not attractive. <laughs> and back, and back to Lizzo. Paper boy. <laughs> <laughs> to get chose in the draft, my the nigga. The Mel Kiper. <laughs> What'd you say about Jill Scott? <laughs> Somebody will say Jill Scott is pretty. Okay, Jill Scott is pretty. To you. Jill Scott ain't pretty to you. There's Corey. See, he's, he's I'm asking you a direct question, my brother. Own world. Not with that weight on her like that. Oh That's him. Not know. with that weight on her like that. With that weight on her, she doesn't look as good as she could look. Oh. Now, if Jill Scott, if Jill Scott weighed the weight that she supposed to weigh for her height and she build. She's supposed to weigh. The way she's supposed to weigh. You're not supposed to be motherfucking as big as Jill Scott is. Do you really think that that is healthy for her to walk around like that? What it is while you're young, your body is strong enough to pull that weight. But as you get older, you're going to be a house shoe wearing bitch. This nigga make it sound like they tractor trailers. They pulling them. You gonna be a flip flop wearing bitch if you got that weight on you when you older. You gonna be a canko having bitch. Can't go ankles or canko. It's just don't nobody say it. I see fat niggas in the doctor, homie. Have you ever gone? What's the motherfucking restaurant on Manchester? The soul food restaurant. On Manchester. M &M? You can say M and M's. Doolins, Doolins, Doolins. Let's That's go to Doolins tomorrow and look yeah. at everybody in that motherfucking line. <laughs> He's crazy. No, nah, I've been there. That shit. Yeah. Everybody looked the same. Oh my god. Big Which motherfuckers. And that shit good as hell now. Doolin's good, that motherfucker. But you know Y'all got that gravy. Y'all got that gravy. Eat that shit for two, three you weeks. Eat, I was going to say, eat it in moderation. No, you can't eat that shit every day story. now. Right, right, right. Now, for me, Doolin's is a motherfucking once a year type visit. <laughs> uh, I, I, but see, Zoe ain't got... That's Jill Scott. Yeah, see, she, she got on makeup and everything. Boy. She got the spray paint face. Oh, my God. Spray paint face. They got that makeup now that they literally spray on you. They paint you a face. Show me a picture of some people without makeup on so you can see how they really look they can even when use, they blowing their nose in the morning. They can even use shading to where it makes their, makes their nose you look more grits? narrow. Grits, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Grits. Whatever. He knows he likes her. He knows he likes her. What, Jill stupid. Scott? I didn't say Jill Scott wasn't. She look all right, but with the weight on her like that, this bitch ain't finna get chose until the club close. It's like I said, if a nigga choose her while the club popping, that nigga on thirst mode. I'm not talking about he the famous like Jill that. Scott. He can't just be I'm talking about Jill. It's a lot of Jill Scott looking bitches at the club. But but somebody can't just be attracted to that. In your eyes, you're saying that they're settling for something else that they don't really want. Is what you're saying is nobody's when attracted to When men go after obese women, it's normally something to it. It's normally something to it. It's not, it's a few men out here who just like a girl um, on the diabetic side of the game. But, oh my God. yeah, <laughs> like remember we was at, we was at, at Speedy thing. Sarah, you say you ain't got diabetes? I do not have diabetes. How old, yeah. how old are you? That's right. Well, don't right. take a blood test. <laughs> 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 
Sarah, you got the sugar. No, you, you don't got wear. the sugar, Mama. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you. got you, that Sarah. peach cobbler blood. Right. <laughs> you got diaba, but the Edies is coming, nigga. The Edies ain't gonna. Right now you got diaba, <laughs> but in about two, three more years. Beaties will join the diaper. <laughs> Beaties, that baby got the beaties. The truth, the truth is frustrating. It's giving people. My uncle died, and he was hundred pounds away of diabetes. Yeah, you can have diabetes. Exactly, doesn't it? Hundred pounds look. Hundred pounds away. Oh, so you don't know what that's what I said. I said you got an uncle that died a hundred pounds. His and name was Edison. Let well, me tell you what, he had already motherfucking <laughs> lost the battle. <laughs> yeah, no. I can't. Right. When, it, when, it, when, it, when you start getting little, that means you finna die. <laughs> <laughs> that means your body like, fuck it, nigga. I can't hold on to this shit no more. It's about to be over, nigga. <laughs> this nigga says she got diaba. It just... <laughs> <laughs> the meetings is coming, but the right now, is you coming. got a you diaper. It, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Zo, Zo laughing because he know. No, that shit just hit me. Diaper. <laughs> <laughs> diaper. <laughs> Somebody say my shirt got diabetes. This nigga Fuck got out, nigga. half a diabetes, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Half a diabetes. Uh, almost oh. there for him, a diabetes. <laughs> That's crazy, nigga. Diaper. You almost there, girl. You're on the borderline. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> oh, <Ooh>, shit. <laughs> you got it. I'm having it. <laughs> <laughs> Diaper. <laughs> that shit is genius, nigga. <laughs> Sir, you got diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, man. a part of this, a part of the show that slows everything down. We gonna call it the the diaper part of the show. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Extra loud chuckles coming from oh, the from the. Shit. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Extra loud chuckles from the bleachers, all uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm hang on it. <laughs> but it's coming. Oh, my God. Take that back. Oh, my God. Take that back. Diver. You're going to piss 19 times a day. It's coming. <laughs> mm -mm, that's terrible. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these loose, loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. bullshit. Oh, thank you very much. Here we go. So, <clears throat> well, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but it looks like Damon Dash, once again, has some major financial woes. Uh, so back in 2015, he lost a court battle with a music and movie producer named Edwina Brooks. Uh, she sued him, claiming that he agreed to direct a film called Mafietta based off a series of books she did, which she then claimed that Dash wasted production time and money, so she then fired him before it was even finished. But that, but that he kept claiming co-authorship, basically copyright infringement is what that is, over the movie and even tried to sell it on iTunes without her permission. So she sued for damages and recently was just awarded $300,000 plus interest. But now his team is trying to appeal that, but it doesn't look good. Yeah. Oh well, you so know more. that. <laughs> that's a cold game. That shit, um, man. what is it called? Uh, um, what is the shit called when you get people rights to that shit, publishing and shit? Uh huh. Motherfuckers go after that shit. Mm -hmm. Most people who sign contracts, they don't even know what the fuck they signing, which is sad. I want to say to all of the artists out there, never sign a fucking contract. You don't know what the fuck it is. I did the dumb shit before. I signed some shit with them uh, garbage ass cold black motherfuckers. Mm. Cold black entertainment. But at this point, them motherfuckers, they the reason, they, they welded my friendship away from Kevin Hart, if you ask me. Mm. Mm. But wouldn't you think at this point, though, somebody of his 
position, Damon Dash, and how long he's been in the game, wouldn't he know what he's doing at that point? That was just 2015. I mean, hey, I don't know. I, I'm not finna speak on Damon Dash because right. I, I'm put it like this. If it's true. I ain't finna like single one out. I ain't never met a motherfucker in the music industry who gonna be 100 with you. Mm. Have you? You know a little bit about the music industry. That's true. It seemed like well, you know 100. Seems like everybody's a little twisted, a little and shady. And what happens, people call it business. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what I found out the hard way. Oh, this is business. Yeah, and you should have known. You should have had that, saw that. Right. You should have known I was going to fuck you. <laughs> you should have known I was going to rob you. Uh. So I don't call out one. I call them all out. I don't want one person to think I'm singling them out in the business. It's all a shady game. When it comes to being straight up. Right. I mean, do you know the history of Puffy? Oof. It's a lot to that. Everybody got robbed, right? Pretty much is what we heard, yeah. Motherfucker talk about all that Biggie shit. He own Biggie Publishing. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shit, that's everything, ain't it? Mm-hmm. That's everything. That's everything. The fuck? I don't know a straight up nigga in the music game because what happens is the people in charge show them how to fuck the niggas and that's how they get their money. You fuck them over. You get the rights to their shit because we got the rights to you. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You come with their shit and we might give you a piece of it, nigga. Mm. Mm. Take that, take that. That is cold. You know what I'm saying? The whole game, the whole game <laughs> raw, man. <laughs> Shit, take that, take that. Whole you game know? raw, man. Oh my God. This nigga dumb as hell. <laughs> take that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, I'm calling him out too. I guess I'm wrong. I'm being a hypocrite well, with what we I'm saying. Well, we covered too many, we have I'm just saying, I don't know a good artist. story in the music business. Mm. Everybody gets robbed. That's the way the game go. But for some reason, you see motherfuckers like Justin Bieber and um, new kids on the block and all them no, motherfuckers. No, they got their own stories too. They, they got, got robbed, stories. but them yeah. motherfuckers had a real campaign behind them. Mm. Ice, ice, baby. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lord. You good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm through. Come on, Bram Stroker. What oh, you so I just want yeah. <laughs> stop. I want to say congratulations to one of my favorite couples. Um, so Russell Wilson and Ciara are expecting, well, their second child together, but it'll be her third since her first child, the boy, was with Future. Anyway, they did a gender reveal online, and um, and it looks like they're having a boy. It was kind of cute. Um, so it's her third baby. It's her third baby. Her second with Russell Wilson. Remember the first son she had with Future, and then Russell and her had a little girl. And then now they're expecting a, a boy. So now he'll have a boy. He said, and Russell expressed that he wants a humongous family and that if it's up to him, they'll have eight kids. Oh, shit. Sierra says she's all for having a big family as well, saying that since we now have time now, so kind of joking about, you know, what's happening in the world or whatever. But, well, we have money. It's the third child. That, that monkey going to look like prune juice, Josh. I'm pretty sure they're going to take care of that. Look I'm inside pretty sure a prune they will jar. take care of that. She'll have the rejuvenation, I'm pretty sure. The rejuvenation, I want, I want to tell you something. The reju rejuvenation, you feel it. Oh, Lord, how do you know? What are you talking about? Girls who pussy been rejuvenated, you feel it. <laughs> it's just you never say nothing, but you be like, oh, this pussy has been worked on. <laughs> Oh my God. This ain't no natural feeling pussy. Oh. I'm gonna ask you, what does it feel like, dog? Oh my God. Rejuvenated pussy feel like jagging off with peanut butter. Wait, what? Sarah said crunchy or smooth peanut butter. Smooth peanut butter. <laughs> it lacks viscosity. Right, you gotta be like, it, we gotta go somewhere where it's hot, where it's smoother. <laughs> You can't fuck a bitch with a rejuvenated pussy in the wintertime. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know, there's something wrong with this pussy. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's rejuvenated. That's what happened to it. Somebody right? said we can rebuild it. Right. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> what movie is that from? That's the $6 million, Six million dollar man. Dollar man. Oh, my God. We have the technology. <laughs> right. We can <laughs> tighten this it, pussy. Uh, <laughs> even though some of them be tight. You still be like, this don't feel like a pussy, bitch. Yeah. This feel like... <laughs> what does it you feel got like? a Hot Wheels track lining in your pussy. Oh! I feel a scene. <laughs> like... That... Uh, yep. 
like a new pussy scene. You what might be this? feeling a diaphragm, Corey, by the way. You're the probably feeling a diaphragm. What, what is this? Yeah, he's probably feeling a diaphragm. He just said he felt like a Hot Wheel track in there. I'm like, what? Oh, shit. Oh! oh! <laughs> That's a good one. She just dissed you. Uh huh. No, what she uh -huh. said, I didn't hear. She said, ain't going in that far. <laughs> hey, Sarah. No, 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 you're not, you know, I can do. Sarah said, you're not going that far. No. Some bitches diaphragm be hanging. Ooh, they what pussy kind of, ain't right inside. Where do they go? Where do they go get it done? Them bitches pussy don't be right. The inside, the um, what they call that shit they put up on top. What? <laughs> Some bitches um, uh, what is the shit on top of the wall? What is it called? The ledge? Scaffolding? The edge? Scaffolding? No, not scaffold. I'm talking about when you're doing a wall, that little thing that pop out on the side. The little, some people going to know what the fuck it is. Not drapes. It's part of the wall, and they have it at the bottom, too, a lot of times when they do your, when they, when they do your walls right. I'm looking at the motherfucker. Sheet rock? What? Oh, you, you're talking about like the little lining, the little boning. The, yeah. The, the little... What is that called? The, the awning up at the top? No. no, somebody know, somebody go say that shit. It's like a trim. It's like a little trim that sticks trim. out. Yeah, the it's trim like a... that sticks out. They but trim don't a... be right. When you don't do it right. Look, they pussy trim ain't up to code. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> pussy stucco. Right. It ain't. Um, <laughs> yeah. I forgot what it's called. Somebody molding. Molding. Right. There the you molding, right. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> they done fucked up your molding. <laughs> The crown molding, all that shit. It don't be right. It don't. It be like some walls that ain't right. You ever go on the cement that ain't done right? And when you riding the skateboard, you hit that. You got a brace to hit it. <laughs> some bitches pussy on the inside. Guys. We can rebuild her. It's Tighter. a branch growing under their pussy. Oh, Wetter. Somebody said door stop. Juicier. Oh my god. <laughs> crown molding. That's what it is. <laughs> Somebody know. Bitch, crown molding inside ain't right. Somebody said borders. <laughs> Somebody said <laughs> bitch <Baseboard>. baseboards. <laughs> <laughs> Your pussy baseboard broke. <laughs> they didn't fix it. Right, <laughs> but it's crown molding. That's what I was oh, trying to say. Oh, shit. Oh, but that does sound better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm baseball. Y'all here talking shit, and her crown Ooh. molding ain't put on right. <laughs> her baseboard's loose. <laughs> right. Talking about what I can't reach with my dick, bitch. The molding is right there, bitch. <laughs> My dick don't even go all the way in your pussy. It, it go in a little bit, then roll to the side, bitch. I'm, I'm fucking your kidney stone, bitch. <laughs> bitch, get up. Bitch, get up. Kidney stones took out. I can't even nut no more. I, I don't feel it no more. I, God damn, bitch. You got to drink some pop, bitch. <laughs> drink some Coca-Cola so I can fill this pussy, bitch. Oh. Somebody said contractor. <laughs> she will be able to squirt <laughs> after this. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, shit. We can rebuild her. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Crown molding fucked up. Oh, Crown molding is genius, man. <laughs> Woo, that hurt my side. Oh, so, God. moving on. So, uh, <clears throat> not sure if you heard, you know how there's all this virtual live streaming and stuff. We were just talking about it. You know, people, you guys were just talking about doing something like that. People are having live parties, things like that. Well, it even goes over to NASCAR folks, because what are they doing? And it's their season right now. And speaking of NASCAR, so one of their most, I think he was going to be, because my family used to follow NASCAR when I was younger, but I, I think Kyle Larson was going to be like, it was going to be pretty big. He was going to take over a lot of main spots but he has now really shown himself and for the right reason blew, blew himself out of there so he's gone you know how that it's cancel culture so what happened was he was doing a, um an online race type thingy like a live stream racing virtual racing for nascar he's a driver obviously and uh and he got mad at this guy that's supposed to be helping him out i forget what they call the, the guy that was doing this some kind of spotter or something like that and through the mic, I guess he got, you know, and, and, and said some shit. And he said, uh, can't you hear me? And word. And he's mixed. He's white and Japanese. 
and it was over. And by the end of the day, his team dropped him and all his sponsors, and that's Chevrolet and McDonald's. So they dropped him. Uh, and, and of course, he tried to, you know, the old do the apologizing big time. He went on his Instagram and did a whole video, looked like he had just got done crying or what have you. But now you get people like, so what do you think about this? Because now people are like, no, now we need to do some, how you say, fight for, I guess you could say money to raise awareness for certain things. But you got Reggie Bush, and what's the other guy's name? He's a baseball player, young guy too. Uh, Marcus Stroman, he plays for the Mets. And so they're like challenging him, talking about, oh, you know, I want to fight him. I want to fight him in a UFC match. Because he said, you just shown yourself, you know, that you just showed your racist, how you're racist. So they sweated him, but he's done. So he's no longer, he's, he's out of there. I mean, you can't come back. Like I said, that cancel culture thing is real. So they, Thanks, booted, Demetria. Him, they booted him out. Mm. Hey, hey, so I'm just saying, like, this man got caught saying how he really feel. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yeah. How he really feel. But I'm saying, like, what did Trump do? Yeah. Mm. What do all of them do? If you mm. microphone motherfuckers, you're going to catch them all saying shit like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, if I had sponsors, what they going to say about me? They're going to say, oh, here you go saying faggot. Here you go saying this. Mm -hmm. I don't trip off what a motherfucker say. I trip off what a motherfucker do. Because mm -hmm. I know most people, especially people who haven't been around another culture, don't even fucking get it. Mm. Mm. Before I moved to L.A., do you think I knew the struggle of Mexican people? Mm -mm. I didn't know nothing about Mexican people because I'm from a place, Chicago is the most segregated city right. in the country. I didn't learn about different cultures until I moved out here. Mm -hmm. So now that I see what's up, I'm like, oh, Caucasian people fucked everybody up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody got it. I might not get a sponsor for saying that, but it's the truth. So I'm not taking up for what this man did, but I'm just saying. Oh, sorry. Hey, man, when you catch somebody saying something out of pocket, man, I could see if it's somebody like what Roseanne Barr did. This mm. bitch dared them to do something to her because mm. that bitch got out of pocket saying racist shit all the time. Mm -hmm. Blatant, yeah. You catch somebody saying something out of pocket, man, don't take their career for that shit. Or you could just tell motherfuckers, look, you can't never do that again, and we want you to say, I'll never do it again in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. And then if you do it again, then it's motherfucking the yeah, bullshit. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. But racism is part of this world. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm jogging down the motherfucking street the other day. The police motherfucking, hey, man, um, I knew they was talking, finna say something to me about the, you know, you ain't supposed to be out shit. I say, yo, man, I'm just motherfucking tired of being in the house, running on the machine. I'm just running. I ain't on nothing, man. I, Was it late? I, I've been living over here damn near 20 years. But after they heard me talk, they ain't fuck with me because they mm. really wasn't on no bullshit. Right. Now, if it was a police officer who was on some bullshit, they'd have wrote me a ticket or took me in or whatever the fuck they going to do. The point I'm trying to make is, man, I'm not going to judge nobody off one thing you, one thing you say. Might not even be one thing you do because I know how the game really go. Mm -hmm. If I catch you stealing from me, I know you've been stealing from me. I caught you this time. Mm -hmm. I might keep you around because I need you. But I'm going to tell you, if I catch you again, God damn it, I'm going to pay them niggas to get at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay them niggas to break your daughter arm. Damn. I don't want them to break your arm. You a heel and be like, fuck that nigga. I want, him, I want you to see something fucked up happening in your life. Huh. I want your, your wife to get fucked raw. By Ooh. 12 strangers. Ooh. But Corey, it was only $5. It's the principle of it. Wow. It was this movie back in the day called uh, Cat's Eye. And the motherfucker wanted to stop smoking. And, and, and they really found a way to make him stop smoking. What? They was doing some extreme shit. He wouldn't stop smoking, so they brought him in there. And they had his wife in this place with this electrical floor. And they was like, so you, you gonna smoke, huh? Then they pressed the shit, that bitch, ah, ah, And she was really fucked up. And he was like, stop. So they was like, hey, we, hey, but next time we catch you smoking, we gonna cut a finger off. 
And do you know? He kept smoking, yeah. He kept smoking and cut the bitch finger off. Oh, my God. I'm saying that, but he stopped smoking after that, I bet. When he saw uh, his wife, like, uh, uh, <laughs> he was like, what the fuck? We would like to think that he did. Yeah. I'm just saying, man, mm -hmm. how, how much you got to lose? Yeah. What you willing to lose fucking with a motherfucker? That motherfucker, the NASCAR motherfucker, an apology ain't shit. Ain't shit, yeah. He got a motherfucker to do a studio session with Frank Ocean. Oh, see, here we go. <laughs> and last... You got to let Sarah sit on his face. Get him, Sarah. Get him, oh, I'm Sarah. fucking with you. I'm fucking with you, Stop. Sarah. <laughs> and last, I just want to say, <laughs> you're funny. You, There's you a lot of people it. up there like, get Sarah my remember. number. <laughs> you won't forget it, she said. <laughs> and last, I just want to uh, give a congratulations out to my homies, Esteban Oriel, and speaking of Mexicans, and Mr. Cartoons. It's two Chicanos here, of course, from locals from L.A. that changed the whole game pretty much in with a lot of rappers, musicians, um, artists, various artists, and sports athletes with all their artistic work. Esteban's a photographer and their best friends uh, and business partners. And I don't know if you ever heard of Mr. Cartoons. He's one of the most famous tattoo artists. They just released their new documentary on Netflix called LA Originals. It is now, it made the top 10 uh, first release. It's been out for like a week now. And also I want to say a huge thanks to Eminem for the mention of me and also the two pictures that Esteban put in it. So it's a pretty dope documentary. I was pretty excited because that was unexpected to me. Anyway, um... They mentioned you? Oh yeah, big time. Uh, matter of fact, I didn't expect that, that, that it came from Eminem, of all people. And I was like, oh. I saw Ricochet the other day. I was I like, thank you, you Eminem. It's a great movie. <laughs> I saw Young D on was, Ricochet. Young D pulled up in the whip. It like, was kind of flirty. I was like, oh, Eminem. God, it was it everybody's been calling me on it. I was like, I don't know what that meant. But anyway, so thank you for that. And then they showed two great pictures that Esteban took of me a couple of years ago. So but uh, congratulations to these guys because they're hard workers and stuff. And it's a great documentary if you ever want to learn about a lot of Chicano life and Mexican stuff here in LA. Well that's dope. Really we gonna take a quick break so I can get something to drink. I got the cotton mouth like a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, no. All this talking out of did. Uh we're going to listen to the beats and see what it do. 5150, we'll be right back. Let's do it.
about with the merchandise and shit? Oh, the you sent a shout out to the people, right? Yeah, I put all the names of everybody. That's purchased in the last couple of weeks, uh, merchandise from us. Thank you very much again. And also, there, if you notice, there's some asterisks by a couple of names. And those are like, I can't even believe how incredibly supportive. They bought so much gear for them and their lady, obviously. But thank you guys. Everybody, thank you so much. But that was crazy. I was like, whoa. That's People what's are up. Really coming out, coming through. Thank we you. We appreciate y'all, man. Shit, these is motherfucking trifling times for niggas, dog. Yeah. Trifling times. Everybody, every nickel, every dime. Motherfucker be sending that cash up a dollar. You think I don't be happy to see that dollar? Mm -hmm. I'll be like, thank you, brother. Yeah, people don't have to spend. Yeah, right. yeah. That's why we be coming up with these dope ass motherfucking songs. Hit it. <laughs> They fucking up the beat. <laughs> it's a duck. Oh, Jesus, that's, that's what you get for that. <laughs> that was for Lizzo. <laughs> that's it right there, ain't it? Oh, shit, what's happening? <laughs> Georgia ass motherfucker. That's it, why we can't hear it that good? Without the volume fucking up, it don't it matter. Is. We still tough. This song is about the situation in America that needs to be said, cause I ain't scared. Check it out. Every nigga in the country with a bag got a light skinned bitch by his side. Yeah. Go? Tell go. the truth, what? that's how it goes. The nigga got a bag, you already know. He got a light skinned bitch by his side. That's the country version. Light skinned bitch by his side. Yeah, check it out. When I was broke, I had a bitch that really didn't look like shit. I ain't just talking about her skin color. The bitch looked like my homie looked brother. I don't give a fuck. I'ma say it. Look at this bitch face. I'ma play it like a baseball bat and beat it up. This bitch face got stuck. Nothing to brag on. Her face is something to sag on. This bitch right here, to fuck her, I need to drink a beer. Every nigga in America who got that bag, they got a light skinned bitch by their side. They got a light skinned bitch by their side. Light skin bitch by his side. Every nigga in America who got that bag. They got a light skin bitch by his side. You got a light skin bitch by your side. Tell him so. Listen, my life has changed. <laughs> and I need an upgrade. <laughs> Where I'm going in my life, it requires a lighter woman. Someone who can move freely amongst the new movers and shakers that I'm meeting. I can't have a shadow with me. It's no time Whoopi for Goldberg. red bone love. <laughs> Every nigga in the game who got that bag. Got a light skin bitch by his side. Hey, I'm just saying what I see. Got hey. a light skin bitch by his side. Every nigga in America who got that bag. He got a light skinned bitch by his side. He got a light skinned bitch by his side. Hey, yeah. I like a light skin with some lights weight. Not like Lizzo, cause she got a big face. <laughs> Back away from me, bitch, you a disgrace. Get up out of here, bitch, get out of my place. Hey, every nigga like guy <laughs> who got the bag got a light skinned bitch by, by his side. side. Right by yeah. his side. You got a red bitch at the crib, southern dick. Every nigga in the game who got that bag got a light skinned bitch by his side. You can't have no babies anyway. It's oh. acapella now, nigga. You know, we don't even need to beat. Cut hey. the beat off. Watch this shit. Watch us harmonize. Every nigga in the game who got that bag got They got a light-skinned bitch by his side He got a light-skinned bitch by his side Got yeah. a light-skinned bitch by his side Every nigga side. in the game who got that bag I guarantee they got a light-skinned bitch by his side He got a light-skinned bitch by his side Yeah, yeah, yeah
Nice. <laughs> Light skinned bitch by his side. With a duck on her head. <laughs> Parked on that street with a duck on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, wow, this thanks, time. Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown looked out on the $49 side of the game. Wow. We can shit. Damn man. it. This motherfucker, that's the shit. That's the super chat, though, right? Mm -hmm. The super chat and the cash app, motherfucker. We appreciate it, nigga. Yeah. I ain't got no work. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker, this shit, I thought the beginning of May, we could start back working. Mm -hmm. Hell no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nigga. You ain't got no date coming up? Like, nigga, I got okay. a condo coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this shit coming. Oh, my God. I'm gonna have to motherfucking get back on my motherfucking holler at a Lizzo Bill bitch grind. <laughs> oh, when y'all see me out there, you already know what it is. I shouldn't have to explain nothing. You fuck with me, you know what it is. When you see me walking next to. Here we go. Hall of Fame linebacker Bill Bitch. <laughs> Ever since the country started taking my money, I got a bear bill bitch by my side. <laughs> Remix. Remix. Ever since the paper that got slow in the streets, I got a bear, bear bill bitch, bitch by my side. Bear bill. If you see me with your grandma, don't bother us. Right. <laughs> Let us do our thing. <laughs> We got something special here. You understand? Know this old Bill bitch by my side. <laughs> Bear, I'm fucking Bill. with the coops. Mm. They're so crazy. Block for me, baby. Uh, right. Block for me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> baby hey, Corey, go to the front of the line at the grocery store, baby. They ain't going to say nothing to you. <laughs> Ogre Bill bitch. Go on up there to the front. <laughs> Use hey, Corey, but for your car note, you know you can call your lien holder and tell them you've been affected by COVID-19 and they'll defer your payments. And deferment, please, so everybody knows, you will end up having to pay it when the Later. time comes, but you'll have a big amount that's yeah, added Yeah, they'll up. just but tack it on the so end. In other words, but if you can afford Okay, so let's explain things, what deferred payment means. What yes, does deferred please. payment mean? It, it's going to add up. Mm -hmm. At some point, you're going to end up owing that. Just please make sure, because a lot of people are like, oh, yeah. good, I get to skip it. No, they're no, going to add skip that it. up. They just put it on the end of your right, loan. Right, right. So it's if your car note is two hundred dollars, if they defer you uh, three months, right. that's six hundred dollars at the end of your car. At right. The end but of if your, you can, loan. if it's not interfering with anything, and you can make payments on anything, I would just stick with it. But Phil uh, told me you got a year to pay. You Who don't told you to that? <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. No, but, oh, oh we out there like that. We people. getting some of these Craig facts in here. <laughs> so you have a a year to catch up on your rent. You, know, if, if you can't pay at the end of this. You, you have a year to pay from that time. But it'll still be that full amount, right? They're so you got to catch up with what you fell off on, and mm -hmm. you got a year to catch up, right? And as for your car, if you have a newer car. You could trade your car in before the end of your lien's term and still not have to pay that. You can you could trade that, it in. What is that? And get another car. What is that? You say you still don't have to pay that. You don't have to pay the deferment if you turn your car in, if you trade your car in for a new car. Fuck your credit up. No, it won't fuck your credit up at all. Motherfucker go from a goddamn Lincoln Town car to a motherfucking... Ford skateboard. A Ford skateboard. <laughs> give me a Ford skateboard, nigga. Give me the give me the one with the good ball barrels in there. Your payments are six forty seven a month, and that's not including. I want uh, crown molding insurance. on my skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gotta hook it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Junior, thanks for the two dollars, nigga. We yeah. appreciate you. Nick. So what the fuck, man? Like, let's just keep it real, man. We finna wrap this shit up. Ain't nothing to do. What you talking about? I'm busy. It's so sad. I'm busy working, so I don't you know. You gotta work in the morning? I got both, Instacart and Amazon. Oh, I'll be doing okay. that shit too, dude. But you don't do the driving one, because didn't you mess up your license? 
Ain't that she put your what ass on blast, fuck? bitch? No, no, you said it. You're the one who, wait, wait a second. Oh, wait, boy, wait, wait. Man, man. No, he, yeah. he Ain't said, you on wait, 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 No, you said a whole story on the radio show about that when that happened God to the damn. You, what happened? You oh, said it on, rip. yeah. You that said don't fuck your license up, do you? That don't fuck your license up, do it? Uh, see, he didn't look very, uh, you didn't look very promising when he said that. Yeah, right. It don't fuck your license up. When you wreck your own car like that? No, I don't. Don't you owe child support, nigga? I thought, mine, insurance has, I thought insurance messes with you. <laughs> what you, what, you, what you heard say? Threw him under the bus. Yeah, dude. Please, you do it all the time. You th threw it out there. You put it on one of the shows. Nah, I fucked up. up. Yeah, she reversed it. Oh, he can't it. say all that, huh? And I can't repeat what's already been done on a show. Come on, man. Y'all are wrong. Then we can work together, man. We can do this Instacart and Amazon. Every flip. time no, you get can't. a weed blower. Yo, can I can help you. I don't need the help. I'm oh. all for myself. I'm talking about you can do it fast. I've been doing it. I don't need to do it faster. Yeah. Okay. You do both. You make do more money like both. that. No, you can't. I got to divide it? Uh-uh. I'm uh. taking all my tips. Every okay. time you get an Amazon job and a weed blower, you get Darlene hey, right Hey, and where is side. my weed blower? <laughs> no, where... Did you guys throw it out? Cause the whole box, it's missing. It was here when all that stuff was here. What's missing? My whole, my whole leaf blower kit. Leaf blower kit? Yeah, it was white and green and black, the whole box. It had a leaf blower, it turns into a vacuum and a mulcher. It was in a big box right there. Are you sure that was yours? Oh, who else would have that? That was Me, mine. Me, I bought it. No, you did not. I bought that for here so I can blow out all the um, crumbs and stuff like that. It's gone. The whole box it was right by the game. You know this deep lying about shit missing. I now. swear to God, it was pushed underneath that basketball game. Okay, you bought it? Yes. Well, I already know. It I bought was it at Harbor the, Freight right down the street. That shit was on sale. No, it was not. I bought it right down the street at Harbor Freight. I still have the receipt. How much was it? But, D, what the fuck are you doing with a leaf blower? I just said it turns into a vacuum. So I use it. You blow out all this stuff. Instead of, instead of sweeping, you blow it all out of here. And then when it comes to the end, I suck it up in the little vacuum bag. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't know about making things easier. This way you don't have to sweep. <laughs> you don't have to sweep. See, Marcus appreciates that. Don't, don't like blow that no way. dirt all over the couch. Excuse me? That's, that ain't no cheap couch. I wouldn't want to blow the oh, dirt Oh, you want to see the videos of what I did to the couch when I was in here painting the other night? Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Oh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to say that. Are you, what's he say? <laughs> he paints. Oh. At first she knew a dude. Yeah, I, I heard then she good. saw what I paid the dude. She was like, well, I can do that shit, kid. I ain't got that to do that. That was not true. I did, I've always and, been able to uh, paint, but you need it done in a hurry. So that's when I bought Jermon in. I didn't I could always be able to paint, but we said, I need it done by tomorrow in two days. And I was like, oh, shit. Well, I still got the packages to do. I'll bring Jermon in. And we did it overnight. Mm -hmm. So he came in here with you? You see, you uh -oh. came one of the days. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. you Don't came look in that garbage, the see if there's any wipe off napkins in there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that day. I meant the first day. Is that what you said? She said what she did on the couch. I said I didn't mean that day when I did that wall. I'm talking about the very first wall. We don't we check that garbage. Mind. Everybody fuck up and leave everything. I have it I bet there's wipe off napkins no, in there. No, I was by myself when that day he happened. No, when I used my rain... He'd be my... in the studio getting it in. No, we need cameras. Up. We can go to the studio. I, by myself, I had my rain boots on and I recreated the couch scene from um, Dave Chappelle. Oh, no. Fuck your couch. Oh. I did that with my, my rain boots, but I didn't oh. touch the couch. Oh, I kind of emulated it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I'm going to post oh, it up. You kicked on the couch. You, you kicked I on... didn't touch it. It was They were in D, the air. He'd be on some evil shit. When, when they was... were in the air. <laughs> oh, I'll show that fucker. They were in the air. <laughs> Call me miserable on air. <laughs> I'm happy. You got to see it. I had my big rain boots on that had all kind of shit all over. But no, I didn't touch the couch. I made sure it, they never touched the couch. It looks great. I'm going to put a hidden camera in here. <laughs> find out what the fuck <laughs> Phil and Sarah be doing in here. Oh. All day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Feel like me, girl? <laughs> Sarah done tried it. No. <laughs> I guess, I guess She's like, what you don't want this big pussy, nigga? Ah. We all <laughs> This big... 
This big wet catch is oh. mitt. <laughs> so you, you got to you said big girl don't equal big pussy. That's no, right. No, some big girls got some of the tiny Oh, you got a little cooch, sir. That's like big guys don't have big, you know. Uh-huh. Got a little hidden. So you got a little cooch. Big guys don't have big dicks? Yeah. 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 Little hidden change purse, huh? <laughs> <laughs> little hidden clam. Little tight right. little clam yeah. underneath you all the little no, layers. Yeah, yeah, Hopefully you got no little cooch. He already know she ain't got no little yeah, cooch. Yeah, hopefully you got, you got no little cooch. How long you been in L.A.? For over a year. You been over a year? You didn't have to hustle that pussy. That's how I go out oh, here. This is L.A. Look tight. You, you, you came straight from the south, though, didn't you? Times are hard, but a lot of L.A. niggas are nice. You, you came from... What you say? Oh. She said a lot of L.A. niggas are nice. You know what they no, say. No, but you came from the Somebody. south. Them country niggas been blowing that back out for years. Somebody oh, called oh, it a oh. snuggle she pocket. She used to have girlfriends. <laughs> she used to have girlfriends. You said have girlfriend. Yeah, that pussy yeah. Is, is new. That pussy virtually new. Oh, Marcus wasn't here for that episode. What are you doing? What's oh, wrong with that? Oh, not just that. Don't just support. Oh. Girls who fuck with girls, when they come up out of it, it's so fun while wow, they look period where they try to stop eating pussy. Oh, sir, you was on your Queen Latifah shit. Yeah. She, oh, my God. She gonna eat some pussy again. One day she gonna be like, fuck it, come she on. She might have girl. a little tight clam underneath right. all that. Oh. You saying so she got a so you think she got a twat cause she was fucking with girls. Oh, my lip grip, you know what I'm saying? Ain't doing but licking on that little thing. Motherfucker got a Louis bag under that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Got a struggle duffel. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> hefty, hefty, hefty in this motherfucker. Get here with the big long ass deal though. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, know what you're doing, you don't need all that. Oh my god. I'm gonna post that video though. It was fun. Just recreate. I didn't touch it though. I never touched the couch. Yeah, right, D. D be in this motherfucker. You'd see it all messed up. I'm gonna I'm catch you one day, D. You think I you know I be riding I my bike it. on the <laughs> path and shit? <laughs> I done <laughs> seen I done been there before and I done seen I done seen your car and other cars out, out uh, here. Ah, because other people work here. You That's what you want here. people to think. One oh. day I'm going to tiptoe in this motherfucker and be like, Aha! <laughs> be shooting porn. No, right. I would never. He knows I would never. No you got in with Tokyo Good Life or something. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Tokyo Good Life brought his boys. He was like, she down with all this oh. shit. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, let's go. You see how he fantasizes? You see how he fantasizes? Uh, oh, you wish. I'm fantasizing. Right. Oh, the Venus you nap wish. trap. You what wish. the fuck? Uh, uh. Somebody said Corey, Corey cruised the street like Debo. But I really do, digger. I bet he On does, my yeah. bike out here in this area, I see all kind of shit. You got the Debo shirt on. <laughs> what you got on my light skin, bitch? <laughs> Break yourself. Right. right. <laughs> Shut up, or I can knock your ass out. Mm -hmm. What you got? Shut up, or I knock your ass out. <laughs> All right, child. I hate to leave because it ain't shit to do. Mm -hmm. It ain't like you can go, you. like, motherfuckers used to be able to leave here, go to the comedy store, or do some shit. Ain't shit to do with it. It's all fucked up. But we gonna let this episode ride. This is another good episode. Motherfuckers be thinking we ain't gonna pull it off. Mm. Nigga, this is 5150. We got Zoe in the house. Zoe showed up. I was so glad he was here, Phil. When you said Zoe was here, what I do? I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mark is in this motherfucker. We gotta nigga. get ready for the industry repo show on Friday. Nigga, I'ma come through for that. I'm just, I'ma what? come through and just sit what? over there somewhere, nigga. All right, nigga, what's oh, up, nigga? I got to come through. I hear you talking, nigga. I'ma come through, nigga. <laughs> Slide through like a drive through. Yeah, the dick. Let's find some strippers and just have them sit on the couch, have their titties out. You can show titties on the internet, right? <laughs> hey, you okay? can. I don't know. Not on YouTube. Will they flag your shit? All you I gotta do is blur it out, though. Come you think you can blur it out? Like, put a Come bar on top? Come on. If you put plastic down, it's okay. Come on. Oh, he's talking about that. I'm talking about covering that. <laughs> Listen. They ain't got to see that. I'll describe the titties to them on, on, on the YouTube. We'll let, I'll let them know what they look like. No, well, we won't know what you're saying. Then. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that Arkansas talk. Her titties, they, I see her old. I don't know. 
He sound like that dude. He do sound like that nigga from Waterboy. <laughs> Bobby Boucher? No, the no, other the white nigga. boy who kept oh, yelling the out shit. <laughs> and it ain't let it bite another day. Let it bite another day. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> See, he got you Later two markers, huh? Day. Yeah, so I'm one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay with that jock strap on his face. you're supposed to have my uh-huh. back. Man, what's my man name from Cincinnati who be making the shit? The, 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 the... My brother. The jelly beans, the stuff that he works yeah. with? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I can't man. think of his name. This I motherfucker, man, I be... Every week, I forget the weather. Goddamn, he made a whole bunch of headbands. Oh, really? 5150 headband. Oh, shit. oh, yes. He made the 5150 hat right here. Right. Man. Yeah, we keep taking down the 5150 hat. Why it ain't in front of me? Because you're every time you guys move something on Friday, they never put it back right. Oh, okay. Just saying. Did, so. you, did you get some new face, man? <laughs> <laughs> did you get some new face, man? You lit up by another. I got a couple of face, man. You ain't got no face, man? No, I'll just because. Uh, uh, no, I'll no, no. give you a face, man. I got a new one in the car. All right. All right. Don't give me a used one. Yeah. Don't give him a what? You giving him a used one? You got them one like that? I ain't, I ain't giving you one of these. I no. got like the little cheap ones. You know, oh. the, that one looks like oh. a jock strap. I got a little cheap one. Motherfucker, they're going to fall right off. You got one of them motherfuckers that's going to fall off. They're going to walk. It's going to be exposed. <laughs> yeah, this nigga broke one. Here's, here's a loose one right here. <laughs> I got some real ones in the car. I got a couple of designer ones. This um, lady who make them, they designer, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to plug her. I'm going to motherfucking make sure she come on. But she got to, she said she got to get up her stock. Because she said every time she put them on her site, they gone. Huh. Yeah. They go like this. Mm. But they quality mask. You know, yeah, the cause... only thing about a face mask that you're going to reuse, how do you clean it? That one, that one, you yeah, the it. one you had gave me, man. What I do is I'm I spray them out. Cause I was gonna wash, but got that little metal thing right there at the top. See, that's uh, why they say you only need fabric. I just wash all right mine. I, I was gonna hand wash it. You know what I'm saying? I just motherfucker spray them motherfucker with Lysol. What's coming out your mouth sometimes worse than Corona? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't after this. Oh, oh no, oh, 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 no, don't smell what like no. Smells like I know that. Smell like no Lysol like that, man. I'd rather smell the Lysol than what's in my mouth. Oh Lord. Uh, <laughs> Your shit turned brown, is it? Right. <laughs> Hot mouth ass, boy. I got a light skin bitch foot in my mouth, goddamn. That's what it smell like. That's what your mouth, your mouth stink when you smell it. Cause when I'm if I get on an airplane, I never take that mask off. And I, after a while, I'll be like, God yeah, damn. <laughs> them motherfuckers that got that bad breath, they've been uh, they've been going through it, goddamn. They see what the pain they've been putting us through. They got a rotten years. tooth in the back of his yeah. throat. That's what they <laughs> <laughs> get that nigga pulled. Hey, that old girl I was talking about, man. I was getting on the face mask. What happened? Which one? What now? Huh? That one I was talking about on the uh, repo show. Let's look at that bad tooth in her mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna get her one so she can see what she be taking me through. Corey knows everything he's saying. Dick ain't hard. Smell your mouth, bitch. <laughs> my dick stank. Right. Stank <laughs> makes my dick go down. <laughs> Sour smells and shit. <laughs> bitch, you didn't had this weave for three months. Bitch, what you think your head smell like? <laughs> bitch, it's, I get straight in the showers. You know, God damn it, bitch, head smell like <laughs> motherfucking uh, <laughs> Pookie t shirt off New Jack City. Oh, Lord. It should be calling me, man. <laughs> oh, you know his mouth looks so bad like that. <laughs> <laughs> Jack said again. That I said, like oh, from okay. long distance, nigga. Go ahead. No, we ain't going to keep these motherfuckers all night, even though. Mm-hmm. Shit, nigga. They ain't got shit to do. Right. I was going <laughs> to say, a lot of niggas ain't got to go to work, goddammit. But we going to wrap this shit up, man. Once again, man. Uh, Zo, thanks for stopping through. Yay. Absolutely, bro. Mark is good looking out. D, yeah. thank you for stopping through. Yay. Yes, yes, I'm yes. always be here for y'all, you fucking motherfuckers. Hey, we gonna try to set that shit up, man, while I do the FaceTime calls. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just want to charge something that I think is fair. But, motherfucker, I ain't no cheap bitch. <laughs> what you gonna do it on? I'm gonna get a number. I'm saying you gonna do it on, on here? On here? No, I'ma just give a number and my. Oh, you just gonna yeah. FaceTime? Okay. For FaceTime okay, people. Okay, 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 okay. My office hours are from. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Nigga, mm-hmm. shit, I saw that shit. Black China getting motherfuckers to call nine fifty. They paying that shit for real. What? Some motherfuckers ain't broke. 
Oh yeah, definitely not. They got the virtual strip clubs and stuff that Diddy's kids doing. Yeah, only fans. That's kind of all that shit. Yep. Yeah, the kind of fans I want. Nine fifty, pay nine fifty. Hell yeah, nigga, yeah. that's a hell of a motherfucker. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I right, do some so porn. Check this out. To everybody who's sitting on the couch, then beat your dick up damn near to unidentifiable status. <laughs> 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 Nigga, the skin was hurting on my dick. I mean, oh, just, here we go. Got I'm it. just keeping it real. I ain't even go. trying to. I ain't got no shame, nigga. I don't even. I had stopped jagging on. Oh. Jagging off. But now, because I'm scared <laughs> and I don't want no drama, I be jagging yeah, off, right. nigga, to porn. <laughs> mm -hmm. I look. I Google squirt compilation. For my some reason, I I I I like to see them squirt. I like them big titties. I could like I, I like to see fat bitches squirt too. I ain't gonna lie. When fat bitches you know squirt, wow. they squirt uh had color to it. Oh, oh that's <laughs> what color is that is flavoring. It? What it's color? That, that gra <laughs> gravy like color. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fat bitches squirt I gravy, nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Get your Thanksgiving pussy juices out of here. <laughs> Miss, Miss that Easter Sunday squirt. <laughs> That uh, honey glazed ham ass squirt. <laughs> <laughs> and the fat bitch is like right between the thigh where the pussy at be rubbed. <laughs> it be so it be rubbed so hard, it look like where the plane hit the ground. Fat <laughs> 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 bitch squirt chicken broth. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that soup out your pussy, bitch. <laughs> oh, brothy pussy hey, have a bit. <laughs> Give me that bubon cube ass squirt you about to have. <laughs> Bullion pussy. Right. <laughs> I, I like seeing fat bitch. Give me some of that pussy pot. Left. You want to eat some pussy? We talk about no, eating pussy. Not that. I'm the food stop being about. shot, oh dude. It's too old for you. <laughs> oh, stop. Don't let me go there with you. <laughs> Little pussy yeah, pot liquor. Right. <laughs> Give me that custard about that mustard. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> 51 motherfucking 50. We out, bitch. Yeah.